Hello everybody, my name is Bradley, also known as Parzival or The Man Cake. Um, I'm here with my co-host. My name is Damian Belmontes, I am, uh, my gamer tag is Arcturus Rezo, and I'm not a part of CBCC, but I am a part of Lenore Ryan University. Um, we are coming at you live from the Tarleton Complex on the beautiful campus of Catawba Valley Community College, showing this amazing LAN event to everybody. Um, we are about to get into a game right now. It is going to be Wake Forest playing William Peace, and they are going to be playing on the map Ascent. With Wake Forest defending. Mm -hmm. um, I know you say you played with William Peace a little bit. You want to talk uh, a little bit about I that? I feel like William Peace, if they're able to play well as a team and use their Uto properly, I think it could be a good win for them. I don't know necessarily how Wake Forest will play out, so we're just going to have to see. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's great. Um, we're hoping to see a great match today. Um, again, we're getting everything set up. Uh, we're having a lot of people into the arena today, and they just got their stuff warmed up, so I think they're about to be ready to go in just a moment. It's so great. Man. Might be having a little bit of technical difficulty. Um, do you play on an esports team? Uh, you said you go to Little Ryan, right? Yep. Yeah, but I do not play on an esports team. But I do play with many esports yeah. teams. <laughs> yeah, I know we played a few times. Yeah. Yep. Um, but yeah, I'm currently here with CBCC. Select your agent. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, we're currently getting into map picks, or not map picks, uh, character picks, agent picks. We have a Brimstone, Killjoy, Jet, Sky, and Sova for um, Wake Forest. And then we have Breach, Sova, Reyna, Killjoy, and Brimstone for WPU Pacers. Now, Ascent is a great map, in my opinion. Uh, you have the two sides, A and B site. Um, B site has a little bit more cover, but A site is a little bit more open. But it does have the door uh, that can be shot yep. down from a very good angle. Um, I know B site control. does have the door also, but it's not as good of an angle. It does help to give you control of certain spots, because this, this game is very reliant on control. And if you don't have control in this game, it's very easy to lose the site. Yep. Right here. So it looks like uh, William Peace is currently hovering around a site. Well, we have Wake Forest playing Brimstone mid. Mm -hmm. It's always good to play your smokes mid because with Brimstone, there's only a limited space. Yeah. So you have to make sure you cover all of the ground that you need to smoke off certain choke points. Mm -hmm. Placing sentry. So we got Sova, it looks like it's going to or Sova on B for Wake Forest is going to go into the garage and we have Sky looking to blind off A. Blinded. We have the Sova just there. Yep. That's the Sky. We also got smokes coming out. Got a lot of U-tail coming out towards A. Mm -hmm. None of the Wake Forest team is rotated yet. But the push is slowed down because of that smoke. William Pease is it's like we might have a half rotate. hovering around A, <laughs> still unsure whether they're going to rotate or not. Mm -hmm. Wake Forest holding many angles to ensure that they don't get caught off guard. Looks like another push for A is coming up. Looks like Pacers are going to try and push A again. 
Now a sheriff, that's a quick buy up on the top of the Okay, Spanish gonna come in. Entry coming in. That's a no sky. Apparently he's blinded. 30 seconds left. Plant is down on Spike A. planted. We're gonna see a lot of util used to do this new take by Wake Forest. Good Sova dart. That was phenomenal. Honestly, getting both in. Last player standing. There's gonna be a trade. Will be two. And Pacers yeah, get Pacers the first one. round. What a great round by Pacers. To not decide to rotate, but to instead stick to a site is pretty smart on them. But yeah. also good on Wake Forest to not over-rotate quickly, because if they did rotate, that would have been bad. Yeah, and also having the defenders on B coming over, uh, taking the extra few seconds, I think really helped out William Peace there. Need uh, to get to proper angles to get good kills. Yep. So now it looks like we're hovering around B right now. We have Killjoy Utility there. Already slowing down with a molly pop. Deploying drone. Or so the drone going, drone going out. out. Will he? Clearing out corners. Necessary. Wake Forest has people in mid. Two, three of them mark it. One towards CT. <laughs> That's a good use of good kill by Bandery. Another good kill by Bandery. Aw. <laughs> uh, Sova gets the kill on Bandery. That's gets a 4v2. A and Brimstone's able to upgrade. But William P pushes to A site and are about to Planting. get the plant yeah. down. Spike it's now planted. a 2v4. Clearing out corners. We Uses have the sonar dart ahead. to get info. So did William P. See, they're kind of taking a cautious approach to this, uh, not wanting to dwindle down their numbers even more than they already have. A lot of detail to slow down this push by William P. And it's working great for them. Mm -hmm. Last player standing. He's going to get that kill. And there you go. William That's the round, round for Pacers. Okay, now both teams. I think Pacers are actually going to just bonus while Wake Forest is actually buying up. We have Sova with an Odin. Now the thing is, Sova with an Odin on B site is really good on defense because oh, yeah. there is a certain wall bangable spot in which you can get pretty good kills if people are caught off guard by it or if you get someone with your dart it gets you a lot of info and it gets you a quick and easy kill yeah so, so you can see he already put utilize the, it he already put out the tracker dart he's shooting with the odin you can see coming out wing by swizz couldn't get the kill and they push back Vandery with the nice tap. They're still looking at uh, uh, Sova. Hoping to get that Odin off the map. They can make a good B push. They push on to site. They know where Sova is now. Got that combat. They now have back. site now. So now it's another 4v2 for Wake Forest. That one CT. Now a 2v2. One enemy remaining. Now it's a 2v1. With a nice kill by by Sova. Picked up the Odin. Picked up the Odin and used the same trick. Now we're back to the battle screen. Still 2v1. And what a and good kill by one. Swizz and Pacers get the round. Yeah, it's always good to be able to get and hold those angles while other people are rotating. The defenders are re-rotating back on the site. It's always good to get those good angles to get kills before they even know where you are. Yep. Try to not give them as much intel. It's also good to always reposition your 
itself after every kill. Exactly. If you don't change a position, then they're just gonna know where you are based on where you killed them. Yep. So it's 3 0 going into the fourth round with the Pacers up. Pacers are playing really well as a team. We're looking like we're about to have another A push. Conrad taking a very yeah. aggressive Sheriff push, position. Yeah. Pushes back. Yeah, now we do have uh, the Wake Forest players on mid in the two big B right now. So with a full Sub team a push. To kills. Guy. Get the blinding from rain up. Smoke's coming Smoke's down. down. And there's the plant coming. Spike planted. Good kill by Vandery. Now it's a 5v3 with Spike planted. They got some info. That's Silver Dart. Again, you're gonna see this util that's gonna be used to slow down this push. We <laughs> take. What a great kill. Last player standing. Oh my goodness. Good, good reach flash. Flawless. It's a flawless victory. And or a flawless round. Flawless round for Pacers. They're playing extremely well. If yeah. they can keep this up, they could win this matchup. Now, coming into this, I wasn't sure how this was going to be played since Bailey wasn't planning on playing with them today. That I is true. Just got thrown in there uh, as their uh, alternate. Because unfortunately, one of their players uh, got sick and could not make it, mm -hmm. so they had to get a sub in. And Bandery is their sub in for the Pacers. Although he would have been the sub for. Um, Top or, Valley. Or Top Valley. But it seems like their teamwork is playing very well. Yes, playing extremely well. Oh, we still have the server with Odin. We now have Killjoy playing A, and they have Jet playing mid with Brimstone. We have the server drone going out. Clear off B. Jumper is gonna get that kill on Brimstone. Like William I said, Peace is playing a little bit uh, more defensively now. I guess trying to bait them out, put kills on them. We have Vandery with a nice position, Ooh. but then it's gonna get shut down by Killjoy's Guardian. There's a mid push to eight right now. Three v four. A lot of you kill with Killjoy and Tree. That's an interesting setup I haven't seen before. To have your setup solely on tree. Oh, so good. Like good kill. Down a. It's now a 1v3 and Pacers aren't going to get a flawless game, but they are still leading. 4-1 to going into the 6th match. Six round. Wake Forest getting their first uh, round, round victory. Let's now we'll see, see uh, momentum is very helpful in this game. Let's see if they can ride that momentum onto Momentum is yeah, either a tying lot. it up or taking the lead. Now we still see the split uh, defense with uh, Wake Forest. They're not trying to guess too quick. But as you see, you have more you have about two going to A and then you have two watching mid. Sova is the sole B watcher. But does have so with the that Odin, Odin yeah. you can get a lot of kills with it. Mm -hmm. Ready to use the tracker dart. Find out where everybody is so they can wall bang through that. Uh, Conrad's watching tiles. See if they have a mid push. Ooh, jumper's already weak. It's only have 31 health. I think the other Sova is <laughs> wall banging too. That is the thing, is that if you wall bang, they can wall bang as well. Good kill by Conrad. Banner's gonna get the kill on Jumper. The core is gonna get a kill on Peachy. No charges left. Conrad's not gonna get that kill on Killjoy. Banner getting another kill on Sky. And using the, uh, be the first one on site. It's a 3v3 by both teams. Good util to push back. Coming out there on spike. spike planted. And the spike is planted. 
Now a 3v2. Hazers have a lot of util to use that can use to hold the site. Killjoy mollies. Uh, Killjoy also standing. put down that uh, sentry right there. Took a little bit of damage. Now a 1v2. Remaining. And the trade is there, and Pacers, Pacers get second. the round. <laughs> Got another Odin by. <laughs> this is amazing. I mean, seeing seeing these two teams go against each other is really nice. In this land tournament, it looks like we still have another. Uh, Split defense. They're not trying to overextend themselves by putting too many people on the same uh, area. We're gonna see Swizz play. Standing your heads there. Wait, is that a lineup? I wonder where that dart. Spike down. He B. shot it from towards that top of that building and made it all the way to B site. I never knew that lineup. However, it's now a five v three. Pacers. Now in a bad situation with yes. without spike control. Spike is now uh, smoked over. But it's in light. Flash. Two of the other players. Good flash. Good, flash. Good kill. Ooh, but the ult comes spike in. Spike down. Shut B. that down. One enemy remaining. It's now so a 1v1. Player standing. Battle with Odin. I have the spike. He grabs the spike and he starts rotating towards, towards A. A. Which is a smart decision. He still has a lot of util to play around with. Mm -hmm. And he's going to have plenty of time because Revealing area. their Sova is still towards that B lobby area. Uh, now they're starting to rotate. Spike is going to be planted Spike on B. Now Smart, since it's one we want to put it out in the open. Yep. So that if they go and try to defuse it uh, just based off time, they can get that nice little kill there. Well, we have Jumper going through flank. Which I don't think Swiss is gonna expect. Yeah, he's in the corner, so he's not gonna see him anyway until he gets closer. Yep. So that's a good position. So let's see for him how standing ahead see the Odin's out. The dark goes out oh. and gets the wall bang to win the round. Pacers clutch it up. Now going into round eight, it's six to one Pacers up. I think Wave Forest needs to have a more, they have to change something in their defense to right help here. with these pushes. Because a lot of them are more in moments where they're kind of in 1v1s, where they're too vulnerable. Take flight. So the dart to start off the jumper. So the going out to see. Ooh, there was jumper a wall bank kill down. On through. Killjoy ult's gonna come out. Try and break the Killjoy ult. Bandry's gonna get the kill. Then Belectra's gonna get the kill on jumper. 3v3 right now. This is a 3v3. Skyflash comes out. So each of them are in three different spots. We have one CT, garage, and one market. One called for lane. Defender Killjoy out. We have the Sir ult coming out to break the ult. Okay, let's see and if Wake Forest can get this defuse. Wake Forest. Yeah, they're gonna get it. If they have plenty of time. Mm -hmm. Long grenade out. A good retake by Wake Forest. To play the Killjoy ult, mm -hmm. but also a good counterplay by Pacers to use the Sovol to break it. Yeah. However, that left them with just two on site, so it made them super exposed. So great plays by both teams, but Wake Forest had the better of Pacers that round. Yeah. You're gonna see Killjoy sitting up on A. That 
entire setup on the tree. Keep it cool. That's how you survive. That put your turret in name. So it was still on B, gonna shoot out. Oh, I'm gonna try to wall those again. Now, I'm gonna get the kill on Bandery. Already a area. quick pick by Wake Forest. That was a really well placed smoke. Push from mid by pacers. Push back into tiles and lobby. You got some hard angles coming towards mid. Trying to catch them as they're rotating. Looks like they're gonna stay on B. A lot of detail to get in though. Conrad's gonna get the kill. Yeah, that's a nice kill on fire. Now 3v5. Jumper gets the kill on Belectra. It's now a 5v2. Conrad's only with 13 health. Third get the kill. And gets, gets killed by P. It's now a 2v2. Last player standing. Pacers took the Pacers kill won the round with a 4K from Peachy. A four piece and a side of fries, I Give might that man say. a cookie. And give that man a cookie. Oh my goodness. What a great good use of I was gonna say abilities, but I would say it's just more of gunplay. Yep. Yeah, cross air placement was. He took those gun duels and he won them, so Exactly. Well played by Peachy. And we go into Next round. You know what number to do. two. It is round number seven. Two. Nine pacers. Seven two pacers. Sorry. We're gonna destroy the turret. So we're making a quick A push. Trying to catch him We off have board. Conrad on flank. However, I believe the turret's gonna pick him up. <laughs> he pushes away from it, knowing the turret's there. Which also alerts the team that there's a flanker. Yep. Conrad did get a kill, but that was a nice But Suez gets the wall bang to get the trade. It's now 4v4. Two playing mid, one playing tree, one playing main. Peachy's gonna get the nice kill. Blinding! Until comes out. Killjoy right next to the door. It's actually, is, are they on the other side of the door? One enemy remaining. In, Ifru gets the kills and Pacers win the round. That's three on piece elimination. Right there. That's a three press. piece and a side of fries. You can actually use those emotes in this stream. Yep. If you are subscribed, we do have uh, subscription emotes. Uh, we do have a three piece and a side of fries. Don't have four pieces inside of cookies no. though. But that's the next one that we're planning. That's the next one. It's the next one. Yep. It'll be there next year. <laughs> what will it be for a five piece? Or an ace? You get a milkshake, right? Yeah, I had a milkshake to it. We're gonna keep adding emotes. So it looks like we got a hard A push. Conrad's gonna be out of A. Skyflash flashes most of the Pacers team. Bandery. Pushing up. Almost got the. A nice tap by Conrad. Get the kill. Util to slow down the push. There was a breach ult used by Peachy. However, they weren't able to utilize it, unfortunately. And now it's 5v4 with. Possible rotate by Pacers. Looks like they got the mid. I think they might have saw Brimstone there. Oh, they're going back, yeah. That's smart. There we go. That's Ooh. a nice headshot by Peachy. Nice headshot by Peachy. Going through a tree. Pushing now. straight the tree. Gets the kill on Killjoy. And now they have sight. That ult comes out. 
Like it's being planted by the Pacers. Doors closed. Three to two, or three to four. Three to four v three. Peachy and Belecher are gonna play back. They know that Conrad's up heaven. Conrad gets the kill on Peachy. It's now a 3v3. Yeah. Ifru gets the kill on Core. Jumper gets the kill on Ifru for the trade. Swizz gets the kill there. Is now a 1v1. One. And Belecher gets the kill with the Molly. It makes it 2 9 Pacers. Last round in the half. This is the last round. And this is yeah. final round. Now, with final rounds, it must be noted that all the money that you, you gain up, your credits, they go away right after. Yeah. So it's always good to just buy up whatever you can. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you want to buy maybe the best gun, or maybe you just, maybe you want like a bunch of pistols, like shorties, which are like sh mini shotguns. Yeah, this is also the last time that you can use your ultimate uh, build or as it's ba yeah. uh, built up throughout the matches. So, so if you have it, you should use it. You should use it. We do have ults by. Well, Conrad actually used their ult. Gets the kill on Peachy. Core's gonna get the kill, but Swizz gets the trade. Just like that. And it's a 3v4. It a 3v4. Sky's ult comes out get information. Swizz gets the next kill. Swizz gets the kill! It, it, it's now 2v2. Conrad still has their knives. Last player standing. It's now 1v2. Ultimate still out One Conrad. Enemy remaining. Gets a kill on Conrad. Ifrit gets the kill. Open up the sky. Put more smokes. I know, that's the ult. And ah. misses his shots. And it will get defused. And so it is 9-3. Going to the end of this half, it's going to be 9-3. Going into the second half. What now, a good half by Pacers. Mm -hmm. Let's see if they can create the same magic while Switching defending. Sides. Now we're going to have Wake Forest attacking. Um, and we'll be able to see kind of their strategy going into this. <laughs> We're gonna see Killjoy and Reyna playing A, but we have Sova and I'm sorry, I just had a lapse of judgment. Sova and Breach yeah. on B, and then we have Burnstone again in mid. Remember the smokes. There's a very limited range for smokes, so usually you play mid, so so you can get both sides if necessary. It looks like we're gonna have a full push on B on this Wake Forest team. Reach concussed to slow down a push. They're gonna play towards site, so they have one playing stairs and then another one playing boat. As long as they clear those areas, they should be fine. The wake Force, one playing in the smoke. He knows it. Tried to get the knife. the knife. Did actually get a hit on Conrad, so Conrad has now half health. True. It's now a 4v2. Electra and Vandery have to do this retake to win the round. Conrad's gonna be playing in garage. Vandery's gonna get the kill on Conrad, so now it's a 2v3. Sorry, I'm still the oh, the time One enemy remaining. It's now a 1v2, and Jumper cleans it up, making it 9 4. Now, this is best of, or uh, 2 13, not best of 13, 2 13. Two so the first team to reach 13 is going to take the dub today uh, for this round of Valor, for this match of Valor. This is a best of one mm -hmm. matchup, so whoever wins this will keep going in the winner's bracket, and then whoever loses will go into the loser's bracket, and then I believe it is tomorrow where they'll do the finals for those brackets, correct? I think winner's bracket is the end of tonight. Or, I'm it's sorry, tonight. I'm, not, I'm not so good with the schedule. <laughs> Looks like we have an A push coming from Wait Forest, and we don't have any defenders on A. It looks like they're going to go it for a hard, a hard push on B. It was a hard push on B. For the defenders. It looks like it looks attackers like are figuring it out. <laughs> There's nobody on site. But they don't, they're not sure. That dart didn't give them a lot of information. Vandery yeah, gets the kill on Conrad, Conrad, so now they know that 
Everybody it's a free the site, so now they're scrambling to get the site taken. Uh, the spike is playing. All of them are playing flank. It's a 3v3 right now. 3v3. We have Vandery still coming up flank. And we have, oh, actually, two of them coming up flank. Killjoy's watching that flank. Peachy got a nice good, kill on Killjoy. Good swings by both teams. Raz is going to get the kill with Electra. It's now 1v1. She only has 56 health. Go ahead and do that. Uh. Oh, uh, that was close. She I thought she was so going to do the bait, but she didn't hear anybody move me. <laughs> moving, so she just went ahead through. Uh, close. It was a nice try by Pacers. However, Wake Forest takes the round, and now it's. 9 to 5, still in Pacers' favor. Now, uh, Wake Forest, they did just win the last three rounds consecutively. So I feel like the momentum's building. The uh, momentum is building for them on defense. Let's see if the Pacers can get that, uh, get that momentum to stop. Go back there on. Because this is kind of like basketball, as uh, Coach Dalton always says. Uh, once the momentum is shifted hands, it's usually. It's very easy yeah. for it to go mm -hmm. anyway. Way. Yeah. Like, I can't tell you the amount of times I've lost games where I was, like, 12-0, and then I've lost them 13-12. Oh, yes. Or 14-12, actually. Now we have good angles along mid uh, by so Killjoy's Pacers. already going to be picking up the course. And Conrad's going to get the kill on Brimstone. It's now 4v4. We still have Sova on B, Brimstone in mid. And then we have, oh, no, I'm sorry, Breach in mid. And then Reyna and Killjoy kind of moving along towards mid. Blocking site. And they're just checking all their corners, making sure they're not going to get shot by somewhere that they don't expect to be shot from. But they might have an A push through tree, it looks like. Again, Conrad watching the flank, making sure that none of them push from behind. Thirty ahead. seconds left. They yeah, now know that they're there because of the turret. Jumper's gonna start the plant. Uh. And Belecter gonna get the two kills on Rouse and Conrad. It's now a four v two. Each gets the kill on Jumper, but Core Core is in heaven. Bandery is already defusing. Oh, what a nice try <laughs> by Core. I thought he had gotten Yeah, I that thought kill. that was a double kill there. I thought it was a double kill. Well played by Pacers to stick and hold to sights. And Pacers take the round and make it 10-5. So there again, a momentum switch. Yeah. Now we'll see if Pacers will be able to keep it to the end of the game. If Pacers can keep on playing like that, they can definitely win this matchup. I think they tried the hard B push because that's where they think that they're going, but now they're going to be, play, be playing a little bit more smart. Uh, you can see Sova on B is going to pull the Odin's trap, try to wall bang through B. But as you can see, there's a, uh, there's a split, split push. They're, I believe that they're defaulting to get as much info as they can, mm. see if they can play for a pick. And then after they play for the pick, then they'll decide whether they push a side or not. Yeah. But they do have spike towards A side. It's a bit odd. It seems like the people that were going to go towards B are now pushing towards mid. So it might just be a split push into A through two different... Well, but now they're hard rotating. But you they're have spike rate. rotating yeah. towards B. Maybe they're going to try to draw the noise towards mid and A to try to get them a free Ethan sight. Gets the kill. Which is almost Core a completely gets free the kill. sight. PT gets the trade on Core. It's now 3v3 by both teams. One enemy remaining. But Swizz, Swizz gets the down. kill the with the Odin. There is uh, and Conrad's, Conrad's in the mid. last one. It's now 1v2. And Belectra gets, gets the, the kill. kill on Conrad. And it is now 5-11. Pacers get the round. 
Once again, the momentum. The momentum's building. <laughs> I don't know if it'll pick up on stream, but they are getting very hyped behind us. Uh, yeah, I know. It, yeah. The players are very excited to play <laughs> in this tournament. If, if, like we said, the microphones probably don't pick it up, but they are loud. Yeah, you can hear it through our headphones. The lecture on that last kill actually mm -hmm. was screaming, yes, yeah. so they're excited. Mm -hmm. And they are ready to win. We have Wake Forest playing towards tiles in mid, making a mid presence. This is kind of an odd push. We have a. Uh, it looks like they're trying to go towards A, but then again, it's kind of hard to say where they're trying to push. I think once again, they're just kind of defaulting, playing for a pick. You're playing for a pick, playing for info. Which is always smart to do in these situations, especially mm -hmm. when you're down so much. You just got to play it slow, take it a step by step. I hope that it works out action. for you. Connor gets the kill on Brimstone. Ah. However, Connor doesn't keep the corner. Peachy flashes. Knows that there's someone else there. Flashes again. And Peachy's not instigating. Peachy is going to Peachy stick is, to defense. Peachy is playing mm -hmm. it smart by playing defensively. He doesn't have to aggress. They're already up by some. He doesn't want to give up hellfire. an advantage. I'm trying to get uh, yeah, time to go Shreve is going to get the two kills. Jumper's going to get the kill. Belectra gets a kill. Belectra gets another kill. Yeah. It's still a one. It's a one v two now. Both of them are on B, on site. Belectra does the start. Spike planted. Trying to get the kill on Jumper. So he does have now. the Odin. So it's going to be easy to wallbang. She does have her util ult, and she also has. Or Silva has their ult as well. However, they did get the kill there. That's six eleven going into the eighteenth round. So here we go again. Here's yeah. another momentum, momentum shift. Yeah. We're gonna see if they can hold on to it and try to tie it up. Or see what happens. Or just win it out overall. Just win each round from now on. In six rounds. Because in this game, if if both teams get to 12-12, it goes into an overtime, mm -hmm. in which they have to win two rounds, one on attack, one on defense, to win in totality. Mm -hmm. And sometimes those can those can go pretty far. <laughs> yeah. Now we got a nice smoke, uh, blocking out some of mid, taking out some of that information that defenders can take. They're making a lot of presence on A. Sova with the, or not Sova, uh, with uh, Sky using the dog. Conrad's gonna get the kill on Bandery. They now pushing sight. Got a nice smoke on Heaven. Conrad wants more kills. Jumper gets the kill on Belectra. It's now 5v3. Shreve gets the kill on Ifru. Swizz gets the kill on Riles. It's now 4v2. Conrad is really wanting that uh kill is that word. <laughs> One enemy remaining. Swizz gets the kill on Conrad. She gets the kill. And that's a that's a win for Wake yep. Forest. That's a three piece inside of Fries. Or Shreve. So now we go into round nineteen. It is seven eleven, still in Pacer's favor. However, the momentum shift. Anything can happen in a game of Valorant. Mm. Now it does seem like uh, Pacers are kind of playing a little bit more defensively, trying to hold angles better. But it seems like uh, Wake Forest just kind of seems to know where they're going to be coming from. Now, uh, William Peace might have to uh, make some adjustments to where they're holding angles from to kind of get, true. To get of this dub. A lot of their util use is now known to mm -hmm. Wake Forest, so they can play around it in different ways. <laughs> Again, they're gonna try and do another push on A. However, we have Conrad sitting in on B. I'm guessing he's watching for the close fight. Oh, we got ult coming out for Sova. Like he oh, he got a kill. He definitely got a kill with his ult. It's, cause, uh, it's that combo of using your drone to ping someone's location yeah. 
and then to use the ult to get that easy kill. Jumper is bringing the Odin back up. Vendry gets a kill on Conrad. Good breach ult. Spike down. Swiss is gonna get the kill on Core. Ult's coming out, and PG gets the three piece and a side of fries for Pacers. And now it is match, match, point. Match, point. match point for Pacers. Let's see if they can close it out this round, or if uh, Wake Forest has something to say about it. See if they might bring it back. Wake Forest can still tie it up and bring it into overtime to try and win the match. Pacers are, have a good momentum shift here. This is a prime time for them to win the round, or win the match, sorry. Now we're just hoping that they don't overextend themselves or try to push too hard. Yeah, you don't want to um, get you don't want to get too excited. You don't want to play too aggro on defense. Just play your player your places and you'll win matches. Now we're looking like there might be a decision being made between mid or B from the attackers from Wake Forest. It looks like a, ooh, Vandery gets the Spike nice down, kill. Mid. Still tries to get enough info. So it's a nice easy pick. Conrad playing towards A but they might be shifting towards B. However, there's actually three there. You have Breach playing on site in Boathouse, and then you have Sova in CT, and Brimstone's just a walk away from Market. You should run. Gildoyle comes out, they're out they're gonna hold it. Got a he didn't get a kill on that Sova ult, but he did tag somebody with it. Ichi gets the kill on core using his, um, I actually don't know what it's called, I believe it's his blaster. It's but Shreve gets, gets three, and it's now a 2v2. 30 seconds going left. going out. Gonna find that KJ in uh, market, tagger. Darts. One enemy Shock remaining. Dart. Oh, got to kill Dart, the shotgun. Get dart. the kill. It's now a 2v1. Sky does have the uh, bomb. Spike. And Sky spike, is yeah. moving towards A. But it looks like they don't Ten notice uh, the problem is that she plants it. She has enough time to plant. Yeah, three seconds planted. left. Or four seconds Full left. Full health. Yeah. She still does have her heal. Can she heal herself? I'm not entirely she sure. She cannot Sky. heal herself. Okay. She can heal her teammates, however, mm -hmm. she can't heal herself. Door being broken by the Odin. One Up enemy close. Oh, that was a nice headshot. Gets a nice headshot. And PG wins it for Pacers. Uh, they need to defuse. They do need to defuse. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was just double checking. So Pacers yeah. win mm -hmm. 13 to 7 yep. against Wake Forest, and they continue on in the Defenders winner's bracket win. while Wake Forest moves to the loser bracket. Well played by both teams. Pacers just played better as a team in that sense. Yep. Especially on attack. Yep. Which I know with the addition of Bailey uh, Vandery, um, it was a bit tough to kind of work around with everybody, but it seems like he fit right in. It feels yep. like that they've been playing for a long time together with him. Swizz uh, played out of his mind. Yeah. 29 and 10. So I think overall, I think that was just a, a great matchup. Mm -hmm. It was really great to see how both teams, they played so against each other they use counter plays constantly i think overall it was just a great match it was yeah. great to see i was glad that uh wake forest started gaining some momentum there uh made it kind of more of a match there um wake forest tougher. played amazingly uh especially whenever they gained that momentum close to the end of the first half and into the second half they were able to pick up three yeah they won those pistol rounds um headshots uh were a plenty in this match uh cross <laughs> placement was really on point with what you need to be to compete at this level. Um, I think William Peace, they did great. Um, I'm excited to see what they do for the next rounds. And Wake Forest, I'm also excited to see what they do for their next matches. Um, yep. Because they both played really well. They I was, played really well. Yeah. It wasn't a blowout or anything. It was just like. It was great. Yeah, it's just, just momentum, yeah. Momentum. Yeah. But yeah. I think we're going to do, we're going to start going into the next Inter matchup. Yep. Yep, and we'll be right back with our next matches while we're waiting for them to warm up.
and welcome back to the CVCC Red Hawks Campus Series Land Tournament. Yes, sir. I am Damien Arctus Rezzo, or well, or Arctus Rezzo, and I'm from Lenore Ryan University. Uh, I'm Donovan Irvin. I go here at CVCC. My gamer tag is Lightskin King. You know the vibes. I'm on the esports team here, 2K and Call of Duty, straight dubs. So we're going to start back up with another <laughs> Val matchup. Sorry for the long intermission. We were having technical difficulties with one of the monitors. And the matchup for this matchup is Wake Tech versus Elon Esports. With Wake Tech defending on bind first. So just to ask you a question before we start. All right. How much do you know about Valorant? I, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd say like maybe 5.5. Five and a half? Yeah, maybe, maybe six, maybe, you know. Maybe. That's maybe. a lot. That's a lot. Is it? Yeah. I'll say I'm, I'm all right. I play a little bit with the Val team for fun. They kind of got me into it, just watching them play. It's a fun game to play, even if you don't play it competitively. Mm -hmm. It's always good to play fun casually, but this is competitive play, so yeah. you got to bring your A game here. Money on the line. Money is on the line. So we're going we're gonna to wait for... The gameplay to pop up and have the agent selects for bind here. Yes. So, mm, who who do you like? How do you think this is gonna go? Like, even though you haven't seen any teams pregame predictions, what you got? That's gonna be tough because, from what I understand, Wake Tech is a good team. I haven't heard a lot about Elon Esports, but I have heard about Wake Tech being a good team. But I guess, like I said before with the previous matchup when I was casting for it, I think that it just depends on whichever team has the best teamwork and whoever used the util the best is what's going to win win the match. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm kind of hoping for a close game. I like the close games. Um, I guess, like, off of that, Elon's kind of like the underdog. We like underdog stories. Yep. Um, but oh yeah, we just we want close competitive games, especially for this on the live stream. I feel like that's the most entertaining. It is very entertaining. It's also easier for casters. Yeah. So here's the agent selects for Bind. We have for Elon Esports. We have Chamber, Sky, Brimstone, Rays, and Sova. For uh, Wake Tech on defending, we have Breach, Rays. Chamber, Brimstone, and possibly a Viper pick. So Elon picked theirs and pretty quick. They do pick Viper. Elon did pick theirs quickly, so that makes me think that they are pretty prepared mm -hmm. on bind. So now it just depends on how they use their how they use their agent picks and their util to best get them the win today. So do you know a lot about the agents? Um, a little bit. I know some are smokes. Some are like the duelists where their abilities can also like attack. Mm -hmm. And some heal. Mm -hmm. I, and then I, like your lineup is also important because you don't want too many doing one thing because you also need another thing. Yep. You never, you never want to play, especially for a competitive play, you don't want a full team of duelists. Yeah. Because yes, you might do really well on attack. However, if you're defending, it's a lot more tougher because your, your util is not based to do that. But both of these teams, they played pretty interesting for Wake Tech to play the double controller or double smokes. Because mm -hmm. they have two smokers. And then they also have Chamber, who is a sentinel. They have Raze as their sole duelist. And then they have Breach as their sole initiator to help with flashes. And also his concusses are really good on this map. Gotcha. For Elon, you have you have Sova, who can get you a lot of info using the darts. You have Brimstone as your only controller. You then have Rays as your sole duelist, and then you also have Sky, who can heal, but can also flash as well. And then you have Chamber as well. Chamber on attack, you can play him differently because you can play him as a, a duelist role. The other thing you can do is you can use him as an anti-flank because you can use his um, trademarks as a way to uh, see if anyone's flanking. We got some good kills Same. here. 
Go oh, double kill. Is. You are. It's now a 3v3. Bomb going down. Bomb going down on A site. Spike planted. Last player standing. Ooh. Oh, another it's double kill a, from Elon. It's now a 1v3. Ah, Elon with the first Brimstone round. gets the kill and Elon wins the first round. Gotcha, now, gotcha. this game is a lot of about how me and Parzival were talking about before with um, momentum. Mm -hmm. Momentum is a big part of this game. And so if a team is winning a lot and then the momentum switches, that can, that can take the entire team up to a victory. Yeah. So with Elon getting the first win on pistol rounds, it's a good, it's a good um, point of momentum that could help lead them up to a lot of round wins. Economy is very important in this too. Managing your money, that way you can buy your utilities and your weapons. So it seems to be a split push onto B. Take some flight. from B long and then some from Puka. Using drone to get information, pushing out. Ooh, but a good hold. Little well, three piece. Good three piece by goalie. It's Bomb now going a down. five and three. They have breach and viper. Wake tech coming from their spawn. Elon Esports is playing this very smart. They're playing completely on site. They don't need to worry about control of elbow or they need to worry about control about um, hookah or anywhere else. As long as they have control of sight, they can protect the spike as much as they can and they can get the win there. Uh-oh, uh-oh. A, uh -oh. Oh a little ace? Wait. An Chill. ace by goalie. That's a five piece with a cookie and a milkshake. Oh my goodness. Sugar cookie though. Sugar cookie, sugar cookie. Yeah. <laughs> Whipped cream on the milkshake or not? Nah? We can get it with whipped cream. All right, all right, all right. Light whipped cream. Second, Light second whip round with you can get it with the whipped cream. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. Nah, that's that's crazy. I've seen them like whenever I've played, but in a competitive game with money on the line, which is very important. I'm sure that adds some kind of pressure. A little ace. That was that was tough. That was tough. It is tough to get an ace in competitive play. So getting that ace there, it gives Elon a lot of momentum, and gives him a lot of um, excitement. Yeah going into this matchup. Again, we're kind of seeing the same thing, except we have a different sort of, almost a default where we have two on A towards showers. One playing Kuka and then two long. It could be that they're trying to bait or rotate and then try and push on to A. So this, it's, um, this has a lot of gun skill, but also like knowing the game. Having a game sense and then also yeah. knowing your agent and using the util is prime to winning matches in this game because it is so tough to win just solely on gunplay. Although it helps, it's not going to get you complete wins. Good kill by, by Arson. Gilly gets the kill on two checks. Ooh, but E7 Arson is not getting those kills. It's now kill. a 3v3. Hammy's getting the plant down. Flash. Ooh, Arsh gets the kill again. Sif gets the kill on Lil Swain after killing Arsh. See what Hammy do right now here. Now a 2v1. One Got one. Ooh. Oh, a little wall bang. Wall bang from Pichu gets the kill and Brings Wake Tech up one. It is now one two, two for Elon. This is going to be a close matchup yeah. from what I'm seeing so far. Yeah. They're both playing really well. I think both teams are just going to have to try and outsmart each other to win this matchup. Keep making adjustments. Keep making adjustments. You don't. You never want to keep on playing the same sort of um, setup, especially on defense, because um, for attackers it's a lot more easier to read that stuff if you're constantly doing it and then you're running the risk of them taking advantage of those setups mm -hmm. Pre it becomes predictable yes it becomes predictable so again we're kind of having this split push again towards B 
We have three going towards Hookah, while two are going up long, while Spike's also going up long. Swing by oh, Pichu got, gets the kill. Got the trade. But oh, Hammy, Hammy with gets the double kill. The double kill. It's now oh, yeah. 4v3. They're the pushing side. Sight. Gilly gets the kill on Spooky Checks and Sif. And now it's a 4v1. And Neilon gets sight. Bomb going down. Spike planted. Now we have to see how Viper plays this out. I would pronounce that name, but that name is uh, locked. P101 OR. I don't worry how he came up with that. It's a bit unique name. He gets the kill uh. on Gilly, but Arsene gets the trade. Elon takes the round, and it's now 3 1. So, you personally, what do you like? Do you, would you rather attack or would you rather defend? For bind, it's there. it's a lot more it's a lot more balanced than other maps. With some maps, it's more attacker sided. There's other maps, it's defender sided. For bind, it's kind of very even. It just depends 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 on how you play it out. And I think how both teams are playing, I think they're playing pretty well for each side they're on. I think it's now just a matter of util use and also their abilities as well as their gunplay that's helping them win rounds. Oh. Gilly gets the kill on Pichu. Uses the blast pack to push back away from Danger. Now, Trying to get the wall bang. 5v4. Again, another split push. However, we have Chamber here on A short. I wonder if he's One's able still to... watching A. They might be oh, rotating. They are rotating onto A. However, it's just a bait. Wait, but Brimstone might not have believed it. Elon still patiently playing at B. They're playing for that info. They want as much info as they can. They don't want to push on a site and risk possible kill. Good kill pig. by Lil Swain. See what happens here. A good Ooh. kill onto Sif, and then Arsh gets the kill, yes, sir. and Elon gets the round. Makes it 4-1. Oh. It is a long game, though. First to 13. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. As, as stated, this is just uh, a best of one match. So whoever wins this continues in the winner's bracket, while the loser actually falls into the loser bracket. Will a chance to still come back and win the, whole, the money? The money. Yes. Which is everybody's goal. Everybody's goal is money. Yes. Definitely. <laughs> and there there are some college scouts out here, so I'm sure they would like to impress them as well. Yep, there are recruiters here in the CCC uh, tournament. They are watching all the players for a possible recruiting. Possibly in the stream, too. Possibly in the stream as well. So seeing this great gameplay by both teams, it gets you some scholarships. Who knows? So we're gonna have some util use go down on B again. Again, Chambers lurking in showers. Elon team seems to love Ult on B gets the chamber to teleport back, but then we have two playing elbow. Shoots the Molly down. They start rotating Rotate the a. towards A. Spike down A. Ooh, oh, Arson nice with pick. a nice kill. Trying to bait him with the fake plant. Bombs going Jason down. Plant. Now it's a 3v3. Last player Viper oh, gets double the double kill. kill on Hammy and Arson. It's now a 1v3. Got one. Billy uh. gets the kill, but. Viper gets the three piece with the side of fries to clutch the round and make it 2 4 for Wake Tech. Or make it 2 4. Elon still in the lead. 4 2. Hey, if you're sold, we got a three piece in the side of fry emote. You can use emotes in this stream. Sir, sure, spam it up. So please use them. So. I wonder how 
Elon will respond to that as this is now one of those momentum shifts. Yes. Where now Wake Tech just won a round. Now they have the opportunity to start picking up rounds. Uh, we'll see. I feel like you want it's still really early. It can go either way. I feel like they lost a little momentum, but I don't feel like they lost it completely. That is true. They've, they've been winning more rounds consecutively. Yes. But I feel like it takes a little a little bit away from the momentum that I forgot the gamer tag that he got the ace earlier. Oh, Gilly. Yes, yes. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that name right. Nowhere to run. It does look like Gilly. So, we have a lot of them in hookah right now. Two of them are towards back of long, kind of a bit towards fountain. Everybody just patiently waiting. It's like a like a game of chess. It's just a matter of who makes the first move to be aggressive. Try to get as much information. They as start you can. pushing onto site. Checks kind of just patiently waiting. Oh man, Here. don't even know yet. Any of them will push up on him. They're planning on to B. You have the breach ult that came out. A good oh, swing. A lot of picks. A lot of a trades. Lot of picks. Plants still not down yet. 30 seconds left. One enemy I don't even know where he's at. A 1v2. Got him. And it's a good kill by Sif. And now it's 3 4. Now there might be a momentum shift right now. Now this right? is down where by it one. Gets interesting. You said you wanted to have a close matchup. This is getting. Getting close. Yes. Say the close games are the best ones. Like to be on the edge of your seat while watching games. Whether it's esports, whatever games you like to watch, close games are the best. Yes. Unless your team loses the close game, then they're the worst. It's unfortunate. However, yeah. <laughs> you, it's good to know that you played your very best. Yeah. Revealing area. I'd probably rather lose a close game than get like blown out. That's what that's what everyone would want. <laughs> yeah, even though they're still sad. Either Again, way. they keep they. I've they got your Elon has been pushing B constantly. This is a very aggressive push. Oh, oh yeah, a lot of action about to go down. Give a push. By Gilly, he oh, gets the one. kill on Pichu. It's a four v four. Viper guy. The Razel come out the showstopper. Can't find someone to get it with. Might just come swing around. Doesn't get anyone. Kind of close though. They don't know it. Maybe they Fiber's do. Fiber's playing near. That's weak. Gets yep, the kill there. More. It's now a 4v3. Ooh, the Arsh is making a 2v2. Uh oh. Oh, he got caught reloading. Oh. Boy. A nice try by Gilly, however. Wake Tech clutches the round. Ties up the game. And ties it up 4-4. What a good round by both teams. However, Wake Tech was the better team that round. Yes. 4-4, four, four, they were down. Correct they me if I'm wrong, one, they were down 4-1. Four. Four, now they they picked up three rounds in a row, and now this is where this is where the momentum takes into place. Wake Tech has momentum now. They won three rounds in a row, they can keep on going. Now if you're Elon, do you keep going B? Or you switch it up and go A? Or do you try Maybe. and play a more default, play for more info or for picks? It just depends on how Elon wants to take take of it. Maybe a fake rotate somewhere, I don't know. We'll see. This is what we was talking about where you gotta keep making adjustments. That way you don't become predictable. Mm -hmm. You can see here that Shex is actually playing in the teleporter. So we have two pushing long again. We have two pushing short and then one pushing showers. Smoke's down. Some util use already. They're trying to push into showers. Or not showers, sorry. You fall. Uh, Sif gets Sif the kill arson. on Arson. It's now a 5v4. Smokes goes down. That is attempting to end. Sif gets the kill. It was down. It's now a 5v3. We have Wake Tech's chamber flanking them. On that pinch, uh oh. Ooh, Arsh gets the kill down. on Gilly. One enemy no. uh -oh. Arsh gets the kill on Hammy. Ah. Doesn't get the kill on Cloudus. 30 seconds left. 
but Chex gets the kill and makes it 5-4 for Wake Tech now yeah. in the lead after being down three. They're on a little four game, not four game, four round win streak. They definitely have the momentum going for them. They got a lot of momentum going. Let's hope that Elon can challenge their momentum and see if they can get some momentum of their own. Yes. Chip out a little bit. They're only down one. It's, I mean, obviously you want to just win as quick as you can, but it's nothing to stress too much. Yes, because you can always you can always lose some rounds here and then you can play on the other side. Because yeah. Sometimes for some teams, they'd actually do that because it's actually better for them on that side to play. So... Possibly for Elon, it's probably better for them to be on defending than it is attacking. So, we have a lot of util use on A. However, there hasn't been a push yet, but no one has the spike currently. Spike stayed in their spawn, and then Arsh gets the kill through the smoke on Cloudus. So now it's a 5v4. Tough spot for Elon. See what happens here. Will you get the pick? Wake Tech is working diligently to keep hold of a site, and I think that's smart of them to not just over rotate or rotate expecting your, the other team to already be rotating. Prepare so it's help. good on Wake Tech to be holding this much. Sif gets the kill on Gilly. Lil Swing gets the kill on Sif. Oh. And now it's a 3v3. 30 seconds left. Ooh, down. Hammy gets a kill on Pichu. It's now a 2v2. Spike going down. One's coming from Heaven. One's coming from Short. Oh, no, it's a 3v2. My apologies. 2v2. It's now a 2v2. Last player standing. It's now a 1v2. And uh, Viper clutches it up. Nice clutch. And Wake Tech wins the round. 6 4. It won five rounds in a row. No fireworks today, I'm afraid. And we now go into round 11. Both teams staying calm, cool, and collected behind us. Yeah, there hasn't been a lot of shouting as since the previous match. We've had a lot of excitement here. Both teams are playing very seriously. They want to win this matchup. They understand what's on the line here. It's not just, well, it is for the money. However, they're also doing it to show to college recruiters or they're trying to play for competitive fun. And yes. Sometimes, well, for me, I know that if I'm playing competitively, I take it very seriously. So it's good on the teams to not become overexcited. That could possibly make them more aggressive or more loose, and that could cost them some rounds. So good on both teams to be more serious. We have a split push. They get the kill on Chamber on from Teleporter. He wasn't able to TP out. We now have a push on a B. Two holders are on elbow. They're gonna get the Spike plant down. down. Spike planted. We have the breach ult here. He uses the breach ult. To try and go for retake. Starts pushing in. Pichu gets the first kill. Cladis gets the kill on Viper. Arsh gets a kill on Sif. It's now a 3v1. They know where the breach is. Hammy gets the kill on the diffuser. And Sif is currently defusing. Last player standing. Oh. oh. Touch, touch. Arsh almost missed his shot on yeah. Hammy, and that almost cost him the round. Luckily, he was able to Wait. react fast enough to get the shorty out. What a well played by Wake Tech to make it 7-4. And this is, the this is final, final round before the half. So Elon would in themselves want to make it at least 7-5 because 7-5 yes. is the nice number. It's a lot more easier to pick up rounds from 7-5 rather than 8-4, obviously. Attackers, come on. Whenever the round switches, money goes back to like just your pistol rounds. Your you pistol gotta rebuild round. your economy. Also, all your ults that the agents have are gone as well. So yes. Wake Tech has still their Brimstone ult, so does Elon. They also have their Viper ult as well, the Viper's pit. Let's see if they use it for either retakes or for holding the site. So actually, 
Make Tech's Viper actually used their ult to ult on. You want to play? Let's play. To create that space. Elon loves his B site. I've see, got your maybe like you can they see rotate. Two TP'd, while yeah. the other two are rotating from the spawn into short. However, they still have Brimstone ult there. Is he gonna use it? I wonder where. Be smart. Arch using his retail prop. Ooh, but the shock dart gets him. 4v3. 4v3. The ult goes down. The plant goes down. And it's still a 4v3. Got the satchel peaks. They're near lamps. All are in lamps, rather. Uh oh. Pichu gets the kill. As sick as Pichu gets killed. And it's a wow. good retake by Wake Tech to make it 8 4. That's tall. 8 4 going into the half. Let's now see if we'll Elon's see. able to, to respond to that seven round streak. Switching sides. By Wake Tech. And let's see if Wake Tech can actually keep up the momentum that they have. Remember, I said momentum, it does a yeah. lot. Just one little, one little change in the numbers, and it can change everything about the game. The confidence, your reliability, your trust in your teammates, it's everything. So we're going to see how Wake Tech plays on attack now. Elon Esports defending. Elon definitely needs this pistol round. I feel like that's a great way to start your little your comeback hat. run. Yeah. Let's see. So we kind of have this split push awesome. or default where we have three actually going towards B with two going to hookah, one going to long. You have two towards short and one actually going to showers with spikes. So wonder how this will turn out. So we can see already the smokes are coming down. We see a lot of the kills. Some shots are being fired. However, there's no connections. Just patiently waiting for something to happen. Because with this game, it is a lot about patience. Mm -hmm depending on the team you're going up against, especially for the first rounds, especially with a team maybe you've never played before. It's always important to play it very slow because you want to learn how they play. Once you learn how they play, it's very easy to play around it. But Spooky Chex is going to get two kills kill. using his, his Sheriff as that's one of his abilities. And I'm rotating towards A. Spikes going one down. Enemy remaining. It's now a 5v1. And Viper gets the kill to make it a flawless round for Wake Tech, which is now 9-4. Yeah, the momentum's definitely rolling for Wake Tech right now. Sorry for the loud noise if that was caught on stream. So we're going to continue the rounds here. Maybe so Wake Tech's a good, uh, a good attack team. That could be the case. We see uh, a lot of buy-ups by Wake Tech as they won the round, so they're kind of taking the credits that they won and they're using them to hopefully win another and hopefully win many more ahead. Keep building the economy. That's a, can't do nothing without money in this game. Yep. Because with your credits, you use to buy your utility, your abilities, your guns. It's always important to have that stuff there. So now it's a 4v4 with Spooky Tech killing Arson. We now have Pichu killing Gilly. It's now a 4v3. One enemy remaining. Ooh. An interesting round by Wake Tech, but they win the round and make it 10 4. Apologies, there was an announcement during the matchup and it kind of distracted both of us. <laughs> it did, it did. Oh, uh, they were just announcing they're gonna have like a little. A panel. Yeah. Okay. Over on 
one side of the Tarleton Complex. That is, that is where we are hosting our LAN event. We're not in the, re the arena. <laughs> no. Or the, or the makeshift arena, either. We're in the Tarleton Complex. It is huge. We have so many stations of computers and seating area for people to watch the stream and to also play their respective games. We're not only doing Valorant, we're also doing Rocket League and also Smash. So let's see how the match goes right now. And concessions. You got to have snacks while you're eating. That's, that's what us gamers, we like to do. Yep, we do like to eat. Eat, eat and play the game. So we're going to see some util use on B. However, Launching spikes smoke. on A. Wake Tech plays their attack very Ooh, but Gilly gets the quick kill on Spooky. Pick makes 5v4. Wake Tech with some numbers. Although That's man advantage down. And that's your anti-flank, so now you have to worry about the possibility of them flanking you. No, Ooh, but Cladis gets the kill on Arsh, and it's now a 3v5. Now in a tough spot. Gilly gets the kill on Pichu, it's now a 2v5. Ooh, and a flawless oh, round by Elon Esports. This could be their opportunity to do a momentum switch. Yeah, they gain a little momentum, but will it be enough to come back and win the game? You gotta keep watching to find out. <laughs> you gotta keep on watching. But what a what a good round by Elon. They played it really well. They played pick by pick. They made sure to keep their positions, keep their angles, and they played it flawlessly. I mean, they got the flawless. So yeah. let's see how they play this round now. Do they go back to that same kind of strategy, or try to switch it up? Gilly playing it really close to Luka. Takes a different position. Nades the area to see. Slow down a push. Get a nice kill from Cloud as Gilly gets another kill. It's now a 3v5. Once again, kind of in the same position as before. Game of chess, man. Like I said earlier, just patiently waiting, trying to get that information. Enemies are at. Gilly gets another kill. It's now a 2v5. They know where one of the players is. He TPs, however, there's already one there to take care of him. Ooh, but Arson's gonna get killed by Arsh. Unfortunate. 5v2. 4v2. Oh, yeah, I can't count. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I had that issue before, so it's fine. Standing ahead. We all make our mistakes as casters. So we have the Sova Dark coming out to try and get some info. However, he doesn't get anything. Again, playing it very slow. Gotta get the information. Trying to get the information. Pushes, get the kill on Lil Swain. It's now a 2v3. Plan go down. Uh oh, 2v2. Arch gets the kill on Hammy. It's now a 2v2. Spike's Spike down. Planted. Spike is down. Ooh, the showstopper oh, one missed, enemy but remaining. I think it tagged him a bit. 2v1. Rachel comes out. Flash. Flashes. Knows he's in the cubby. Ah. And gets the kill for the three-piece and a side of fries. Spam the emote in the chat if you're a sub. What a nice round by Elon Esports. Once again, a momentum. They're picking it up now. They know, they know how Wake Tech plays now, so it's a lot more easier to play on defense. Wake Tech will have to change the way that they play their attack now to try and one up against Elon. So it's now 10 6. We go into round 17. Looks like both teams were pretty good on defense. They're both kind of like a, I would say, a more defensive team. Both teams do definitely have a uh, more defensive sided part of them. Yes. Not saying they're bad at attack. <laughs> Both teams play Watch very well in attack. Better than me, for sure. Definitely better than me. Otherwise, <laughs> I would be playing. Hammy's going to take this aggressive push into showers to take this angle. And then the other three are Jump pushing down. short. We actually have them already on site. Arson gets the kill on the Viper. Hammy gets the kill on Spooky Checks. Arson gets the One other kill on Pete. gets the kill on Sip. It's now oh, a 5v1. 
Spikes down on site. Ooh, but Ooh, Arsh, Arsh gets the kill on Gilly. 5v1 goes to the 4v1. Ooh, and Lil Swain gets the kill and makes it 10 7. Elon definitely has momentum now. Elon definitely has momentum now with three rounds in a row. Will they mount the comeback? After falling to A4, they're now making it 10 7. This is gonna be. This is. This is. This is getting closer now. The, the gap is getting closer. We'll see how Wake Tech responds once again. Now that they actually do have guns now. The previous round they actually had, I think, mostly sheriffs. Now they actually have guns, so let's see if they can try the same thing. That works. Bomb buddy out. Tail's going out. Click and push. Right down by a brimstone. Spike going down, real Spike's early. Down. A aggressive Arsh swing by Arsh through the molly. Ooh. 2v2. It's now 2v2. It's a 2v1. Sif is there. And Gilly Eli. gets the kill, and Elon gets uh -oh. the round, makes it 10 8. Uh oh. It's getting interesting. Kill. Both teams still very calm. Back Both behind very this. There's, there's no excitement. <laughs> Straight face, everybody sitting down. Everyone's playing this very calmly. They're playing this very serious. They're not trying to get too excited. But, like, they, we have a bunch of other matches that are going on that are not on stream. And you can hear some of the players from those teams getting excited you and stuff. You want to play? Let's play. And the crowd. And in the crowd as well. So, we're going to see this round go on. Smoke's down. Everyone got pinged by that Sova dart. So now that the, all the info is there, they're now going to start doing an aggressive Molly. push, it looks like. We have a lot of them that are on site. They're Spraying ready. and praying. They teleported, except one had it yet. One. Use the ult. Slow down the push. Arsh gets the kill on Cloudus. Gilly gets the kill on Arsh. It's now a 4v4. Gets the kill. Gilly gets the kill on Viper. 3v2. One enemy remaining. Well, it's now 1v2. Any clutch. Last player standing. Ah. And Elon gets the round with the kill from Lil Swain. What an excellent round by Elon Esports. Really, it was a lot of action. They rotated. Both teams rotated. Now they're down by one. And it's 10-9 now, going into round 20. <laughs> yes. It is, is first to 13. It is first to 13. However, if both teams tie at 12-12, it does go into an overtime in which they have to win at least two rounds of attack and defending to win the match. Yeah, this, could, this could go on for a while, but this is how we like it. You know, like I said earlier, these, this is how I wanted it at least. This is this is what we want to see. We want to see these very aggressive, very um, tight and close games, because those are the most interesting for streams. So we kind of have once again another like default split, where we have three towards uh, B Kuka, we have one towards A Short, and then one towards A Showers. Kind of chilling. Trying to get information. Slowly going towards A. Let's see. Smoke goes down. Molly. Molly's off the spot. Ult comes out. This is the ult, however. Looks like Wake Tech's gonna do a rotate. However, do they expect the sky to already be there? Let's see if they're able to. Get the get the kill on Cloudus. Elon's chamber is on the way. Pushing yeah, in. Blinded. Thirty seconds left. Pushes got back. And it's still it's still it's a four v five. Spike going down. But we still have Spike there on short. Who TP now? Good kill by Cloudus. Now makes it a five v three. Good kill by Cladis makes it 
2v2. Arsh getting his own set of kills. Ulted Hookah. Molly and then an ult onto Spike to make sure that the plant does not get diffused. Another flash. another flash to slow down the diffusal. Off your feet. And then a breach ult. They, Big Tech played the round pretty well to make sure that they won for the objective. They used Last all their utility standing. to make sure that that spike was not going to get diffused. And that was such a smart play by them to play with a diffuse. They played it with the ult. They played it with the molly. Brimstone's ult. Breach's ult. What a good round by Wake Tech. And now they're up one, or up two now at 11-9. Two more to go. Two more to go. They also do have their Ray's ult and their Viper ult as well. So maybe they'll be able to utilize that this round to make it 12-9. We'll see. Very cool. Kill coming out. Big Gilly's going to get the kill on Pichu. Makes it a 5v4. A quick pick by Elon Esports. Clearing out corners. There's not anyone there. Spike's just sitting there in their spawn area. Or right near Wonderful. them, rather. Towards, like, fountain. One's going back to get it. Because you always, if you're trying to push on a site, you never want to have the spike as like your first entry. Because then if you lose control of the spike, then it's really tough to get it back. True. Don't know where so the spike is. They it's, just smart gotta hold of, it. it's smart of Wake Tech for them to play it back to where if they plan on pushing onto a site, then they can, they so can take it. spotted him. Spotted I chamber. damage from him. Take him. Only at 16 health. Already really weak now. Elon Esports, pretty much at full health still. Five v four. We take rotating towards A. Twenty seconds left. Arson's gonna get a kill. Instead. Arson's gonna get another kill on Speech Tech, but Viper's gonna get the kill on Arson. However, the slows are gonna slow him down. And Gilly gets the kill there. Spike going down. Spike's trying to get plant. He used the satchel to slow down the plant. 10-11. What a smart play by Gilly to use the satchel to bump him out of the plant spot and make it to where the plant get go town and it runs out of time. Well played by the Rays on Elon Esports and makes it 11-10. So now we kind of see Wake Tech kind of having to do a save round. Most of them have pistols or sheriffs. Elon has a good chance to tie it up right now. Elon has a good chance to tie it up or even take the momentum itself. Yes. I feel like they have a little bit over. They do. They Late in the after game. winning that round, they yeah. they played it really well. It was really close. There's some info now that there's some long from that sky wolf. But do they know how many? Do they know how many is the question. That is correct. We're gonna see that the Wake Tech's Viper is gonna be sitting Long side on A side. In short. We kind of see a little bit of rotate. Ooh, but Arson gets the kill on Arsh with the operator. Take and then Swain gets Swain. the kill on Viper. Deploying drone. Makes it a 5v3. Ooh, Cladis gets Our the kill on Spooky Checks, out. makes it a 5v2. And right now, it's kind of a tough position for Ooh, so close Wake to Tech. finding out. Wake Tech's Ray still has their ult. Brimstone has the spike. We'll see how they play it out. Ahead. Do they save the ult for next round whenever they hopefully have more money? Both got pinged by the Sova Dart. Left. So now they know exactly where they are. So now it's a matter of playing it. But they're going to kind of be indecisive. They're not deciding whether they should push on to B or A. It seems like they're now pushing towards A side. However, Gilly's there. Gilly's waiting on him. Ready to get the With the clutch to tie it up. And it's a flawless round by Elon Esports to make it tied at 11 11. Uh oh. It's getting closer. It's the. Well, I was about to say first one to win two rounds, but that's not completely true. 
Whoever, it could, it could be either or. So Arsh is going to take a timeout. Both teams looking at each other, communicating. These are two great cool teams that are going against each other. So there. during this timeout, they are going to be discussing certain strategies. How do they want to play out the matchup? How are they going to yeah. take on certain gunfights with certain players or certain agents? And hopefully we're going to see something different out of Wake Tech. Or maybe Elon Esports might predict something and see if they can get the round and maybe even the match. Because both teams are pretty much, like you said, like two rounds away if they win two in a row. But Elon's currently with the momentum. Both teams want to win two in a row. I doubt any team there. wants to go to overtime. There. No team wants to go to overtime because it makes you more tired. And like we said, we're, we're having like a lot of Valorant matches today. Yes. So you wouldn't want to be super tired because of overtime matches. You want to win very quick. You don't want to have these long matches like this. So I guess now it's just a matter of who's going to play this better. I know other teams are watching them, trying to get some notes on who they play next. Yep, Whether so they're playing the loser or the winner of this team, of this game. You're going to see Gilly kind of try and take a gunfight with some people in long. Going to push back. Not going to take the fight. He's going to plan to do a retake. You're going to see the Viper ult come out of Wake Tech and also Ray's ult. He's just going to get the kill on Gilly. And he's going to try and <coughs> spay through the smoke. Now, Wake Tech has sight control, and it's a 5v4. They have man advantage. Splash, splash. So then... Good. Oh, spraying through the smoke. Spray through kill. smoke. But Peach is going to get the frags back and sift. And then Arsh is going to get uh -oh. the final kill. It's now 12-11 now. Momentum shift. They just got this one more. This is match point for Wake Tech. If Wake Tech wins this matchup, then they're going to go to the winner's bracket and Elon Esports will fall to the loser's bracket. However, if Elon can win this round, they will go into overtime and then it's whoever wins two rounds of attack and defense. So <laughs> it's kind of like you predicted. Yeah. It. It's, we're, now, we're, <laughs> we're in that territory now where this is a close game. So the match is starting, or the round is starting. Arson can achieve, can get a pick with the knob. Unfortunately, cannot. Gets pushed back. They do have Breach ult to entry, but they also Elon has Sky ult for retake if necessary. Both teams, this whole entire game, spent a lot of time at B. Ooh, Both but Arson like gets the kill and Arson makes it a 5v4. It's now tough now because Arson can get the kill. Let's so. sift. Gets the kill on Arson. It's now a 4v3. Spike down. Now, Sif is going to play back. The reason why he's going to play back is because he can use his ult. Oh, oh man. 3v1. Pichu, it's now 3v1. Will he clutch? Clutch to go to overtime? No. Oh. Pichu wins and Wake Tech with the wins the matchup 13 11 against Elon Esports. GG's both teams. GG's to both teams. Play really well. Played really extremely hard. Extremely well. Nice try to Elon Esports. They played amazing. Here's the scoreboard. Look at Gilly with 30 and 17. Oof. Despite that, you also have Arsh going 27 and 19. What a phenomenal game. What a phenomenal Indeed. game. Indeed. Yeah, like. I did kind of predict it earlier. I was I was <laughs> hoping this would happen. Those are like the most interesting games. And uh, it happened. You yeah. called it. And what a great match by both teams. Both teams used their util properly. Both of them used their ults amazingly. Each one played against the other, each counter playing each other. It was such a good match to watch. And the next match that we have coming up will be another Valorant match. And that will you be here for this one? Honestly, I don't know. I think so, but I don't want to, like, you know, well, I'm not 100% sure. I might be alone or he might be with me. So hopefully 
We'll see you when we come right back with more Valorant matches at the CVCC Land Tournament. Yes. Bye bye. <laughs>
battle. Dr. Mario.
Mithra! Dr. Mario!
and welcome back to some uh, CVCC land tournament competition today. Uh, sorry for anything that uh, has happened before. We will be doing another Valorant matchup today. We'll be having Silly Silvers versus Billy Bangers on Ascent while Billy Bangers is defending. Now, I do not have a co-caster because they're currently in a smash match, but they will be up here shortly. It will be uh, Partsful, otherwise known as Bradley or Mancake. And I think we're going to have some amazing competition because we have the first seed going against the fourth seed. So all of the seeding schemes have worked out correctly as the other matchup for today is uh, seed two versus seed three, which is going to be interesting. So we have the map picks here. We have Gen Z Justice picking KO. We have Two Rush with Sova. Dizana Enthusiast with Jet. We have some hovering with Tensai Fly with Omen. We have a chamber lock in on Defenders. Well, defenders have all their picks in. And then we have some overing over here for Gaunch's Icy, Astral, Holy, and Gira. So we have Icy locking in as Jet. No other lock ins yet. Today has been. A great day of competition. We've had so many matchups that weren't on stream Choose your from agent. Rocket League, Smash, and Valorant as well. We've just had a team that went into overtime in Valorant. We have a lock in from Chamber with Gaunches. We have Gira on Omen, then Killjoy and KO from Astral and Holy. And we're about to go into a great matchup. Players are all excited, and they are ready to play some Valorant. So I, once again, don't have a pick of who I think will win. As I stated before many times, it's all going to depend on whether the teams can work together and use their util properly. A gift. So we're gonna see Smile Factory kind of hovering around A. We have some already some util use from Chamber to so try and defend the B site. Teleport ready. And then we also kind of have a bit of a aggressive placement of all the Billy's Bangers players. Aggressive push by Dizana, except gets shut down immediately, and so does Gen's of Justice. So now it's already a 5v3 in Small Factory's favor. Tensei Fly gets the kill on Icy, and it's now a 4v3. However, Small Factory already has Psych Control, and they're already getting the plant down. Spike planted. Spike's planted on the A site. So we're going to see some util use, possible retake, because for pistol rounds, preferably, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to save, it doesn't make sense accordingly, so you just kind of play it as it is. A big push by 2rush, gets the kill on Gira, and Small Factor wins around from a 3k, a 3 piece and a side of fries for Holy. And we go into round two. I think this is going to be a really great matchup. All the players on both teams are all very excited. This is a complete difference from the previous matchup that we had streamed before, with which both teams were very serious. Both teams are very excited to play in this tournament, and they are pretty close to getting it done. 
through the winner's bracket. And we're going to see some... They're going to be playing possibly to A site. We have a KO knife there. A KO knife is used to suppress agent abilities. It only lasts for a few seconds, but it can also be used to get information. It uh, gives you information about who's possibly within this range of area. So sometimes you can use it for its actual purpose, or you can use it to get information. Once again, we're going to see this possibly aggressive play by both Billy Bangers, KO, and Jet. But they also have Omen there as well, so a lot of util that's there. A great entry by Small Factory makes it a 4v2. The other two Billy Bangers players are rotating to try and deny this plant. One enemy remaining. Except they're not going to expect Icy already up heaven. And they're going to get a four piece with a cookie to win the round for Smile Factory and make it 0 2. So now we go into round three. This is where both teams usually buy up as much as they can. Or rather, you have like what Smile Factory is doing is in which since they won the round pretty well, they're just going to bonus which helps you to create more credits or money to buy even better guns later if you already lose the round. So we're gonna see a push here. Aggressive push by Icy. Gets the kill on the Zana, but two rush gets the kill on Icy. I now have one of my current casters here. He's gonna be Donovan. <laughs> yeah, I'm back. They didn't even tell me who was casting. They just now came find me. I was like, oh yeah, let's, let's go do this. Let's run back. B. So what so, I miss? Well, we already have Smile Factory already up to. You then have Billy Bangers down. Zero. Well, they only have zero. But they now just won the round with a nice 4K from 2 Rush. So... Hold up. Here. I'm keeping <laughs> Donovan. <laughs> so, um, I mean, I, I haven't been watching. I was talking with some uh, colleges. Um, who's like popping off right now? What's going on? Fill me in. What I feel I? like I feel like both teams have been playing pretty well. I feel like IC's been playing very aggressive. Both teams are playing very aggressive. And I think. See, look at this. You see, okay. Dizana Enthusiast gets the kill on Dungeon. Okay. Gets the kill on Astral and Icy. Makes it a 3k already, and it's already a 5v2 to start off the round. And we're not even but like half a minute in. Yeah, yeah. Nah, he was popping off. He was going crazy. Aim's way better than mine. This is where the game, we've seen SN played many times. Yeah. But we haven't seen such a major push like that from either side, from many teams that have been playing today. But this is to show like the confidence that these teams have. They have a lot of confidence into pushing into these sides or pushing a team and getting those picks and then getting out really quick. It helps to create man advantage and it helps to create info that can be traded out as well. So it looks like Small Factor is going to be playing into mid. However, there is the chamber trademark there that's there towards Pizza that is going to detect them. them. So now they know that there's a presence there mid. Uh-oh, let's see what happens here. And then we have a possible gun match between Gira and Koof. And Gira is going to win that gun duel, make it a 4v2. However, they only have 13 seconds left to plant. One enemy remaining. And Dizana is going to get the ace. With a chill. To win the round and make it 2 2. That boy going crazy. What a great round by Dizana Enthusiast. To get those three kills and then to clutch the round with two more kills to get the ace. What a great play. Tied it up 2 2. Tied it up 2 2. We do like these close games. And speaking of close games, CBCCC sadly just lost to uh, Elon in the loser's bracket 13-11. It was a close game. 
Nail biter. The CVC fought very hard, hard. Yeah. to win that matchup. Elon will now be going up against WP Pacers in the losers bracket. No, I, I go to CVCC, so I, obviously I'm pulling for the homies to win. I wasn't even playing, and my heart was racing. So <laughs> like, can't imagine what they was feeling. I have no bias, so I am I'm okay very with biased. any team. Any team that earns the win. Oh, no, they definitely earned it, yeah. They earned it very well. So we're going to see kind of almost a mid-push towards mid-top, but then you also have them rotating through spawn. So they already have... Small Factory already has man advantage, so they can play this however they want to. It's just going to play off of picks or play off of information. But there is a Sova that is on B site, and I wonder if they're going to be able to get him. So a lot of detail coming out right now. You Love should to see him. So Dart sees all four of them now. Tagger Killjoy coming out. It's going to be possible quick rotate Thirty seconds left. from all the Billy Bank players. Uh, two Rush is going to get the kill on Astral side. using the Shock Dart. Icy is going to get the two kills on Two Rush and Koof. It's a 4v2 now. Small uh, factor saver. They know where someone is. Both of them are NCT. Get the plant down. Here is going to get the kill on Tensei Fly. And then Icy is going to get the 3k. <laughs> Sorry, 3k. <laughs> To win the match. Or round, sorry. So now it's 3-2. Now in Small Factory. This is this is going to be a really close fight. Because this is the first seed and the fourth seed. Yes. The other the other winner's bracket matchup that is uh, going on today is the two seed and the three seed. So the spin group did really well in seeding today. <laughs> oh, I have to attach to yeah. where the... Top four seeds actually play in the top four of the winner's bracket. Yes. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the winner between these two games is going to play to be the winner of the winner's bracket. Correct. And, and that'll, so whoever wins here, they will be uh, going against the winner of the C2 and C3 to go to the winner's bracket finals, and then we'll go to the finals after, which will be tomorrow. Gonch is going to get the kill on Tensei Fly. So, Astro's going to get the kill on Koof. It's now a 3v4. So, Zana Thuzi is going to get the kill, and Jensi just is going to get the kill on Gonch's and Holy. So, now we have a 3v2. Right there. Ooh. Ooh. Unlucky timing. Unlucky timing for Zana. And now, 2v2. There's still... About 40 seconds, they switch spike control to KO instead of Omen. Working their way towards A-bomb, A-site. But KO and Sova are playing towards mid and B. Gotcha. Don't 30 even seconds know. left. And now they're catching on. Yep, yep. spike's going, going down. Up. Wait. Spike planted. So Justice just used, uh, Lindsay Justice just used the lineup. Possibly a uh, sop to plant. Fortunately, it was the timing was off, so they didn't get it uh, what they wanted from it. Still 2v2. One enemy remaining. Lindsay Justice is going to get the kill. Nashville is now a 2v1. They know where he's at. Gear gets the kill on Jesse Justice. It's now 1v1. Fake, fake B. And two rush is gonna get the kill on Gira to get the clutch. I believe he has enough time to defuse the spike. He does, and that Oof. brings us to a tied game again, three three. Getting flashbacks. <laughs> we get the, we always on stream get these very uh, serious and competitive matches. See who uh, who adapts, make a change, maybe go on a little run, get some momentum, I'll find get the them. lead. So we have Smile Factory kind of hovering towards B. They might plan to go B and try and do a push here. But Zana is playing very aggressive and is not going to let them try that. Gets the kill on Gaunches with the knives. 
and already gets the man advantage for Billy's bangers. They get a 5v4. Both teams got a lot of information in that first that first bit. It's those first contacts that get you the most information. I'm gonna hover over, gets the kill on Holy until it gets killed themselves. Still, 4v3, man advantage for Billy's bangers. Dart to push out. Off to Shock side. dart went out. Koof is gonna get the kill on Icy. Flash. They know that, Revealing that two rushes there. Two rush is gonna get the kill on Astral, B. but gonna get That's traded trade. by Gira. It's now a 3v1. This man's gonna get pinched. They're gonna push they're, together. They're just gonna try and wait to see if the plant ever goes off. However, now they know that they're both house. And Koof is gonna get the kill with Gear using a classic right click to get Billy Bangers in the lead. Uh, now four and three. A lot of excitement down there. A lot of excitement. Yes. Little tea bags going on too. Okay, so we go into round eight. Yes. And we're gonna see this kind of, we kind of see Dizana playing both sides simultaneously. Playing these aggressive pushes and then also getting those quick kills. Unfortunately, this round they got killed quickly, which is one of the more uh, kind of risky things you do doing that. Mm -hmm. that you do have the chance of getting a lot of kills like that. However, there's also the very risk that you die and then you leave your team in a disadvantage from man advantage. That's where playing patient comes in. Yep, because if I get a kill and I see but gets traded by Astral. It's now 3v4. Pushing them hard. Here it gets the kill on Genzy Justice. Here he gets the kill on Jesse Justice and now makes it 41. And they get the kill and it's now tied again. Wow. A lot of excitement still. <laughs> this one's definitely gonna end close. They keep going back and forth. This is this is where the game becomes less of of momentum. It's more or less can you outplay your opponent more? Yeah. With certain teams, it's all about the momentum. But for teams like this, where it's all about like to getting those first picks and making those aggressive plays, that's what's going to decide who wins this or not because it's a matter of outsmarting the other team. These teams are both good teams. There's a reason why they were seeded so high and they're this, this far in the winner's bracket. So hopefully they're able to continue with this back and forth because it would be good for the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Content. Content, that's what we want. Oh, yeah. So, still 5v5. Both teams are actually playing slow now, which is interesting. I think they both understand now that both teams are going to play aggressive. See if you can kind of punish those aggressive pushes. Good kill by Astral on Gen's Justice. Trying to get a second. I see he gets the kill on two rush. They know he's up top. They know that there's one at least up top. It's now 4v3. Zana gets the kill on Gaunches. I hope that one. Oh, Astral's crazy gonna get wall the bang. wall bang kill. Oh, he about got wall banged as well. That is the thing is that you you hope you're lucky with your shots. That's just a matter of luck. One enemy remaining. You know where Icy is? Get the kill. Icy gets the kill on Dizana Enthusiast, and now it's just 4v1. Oh, one shot, weak. both of them. Both of them are weak. However, Smile Factory with the round win no up 5-4. But we've seen them this whole time going back and forth. This is a this is a back and forth game now. There's, the, I can't say who's going to win this, honestly. The more it goes back and forth, the more confused I get. This is insane. So now we're going to go into round and we're gonna see a possible B push by Smile Factory. So now 
now we get the... Ooh, but... Billy's Bangers were all playing in mid. They already have people with their flank. But now they have side control already. Gira gets the 3k already to start the round. Like I said, this 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 game's gonna be quick with a lot of rounds going on. Gaunch is gonna oh. get the kill on Tensei Fly. Playing aggressive. Equals because just gets rounds. the kill on Gira. It's now a 1v4. In clutch. Um. And Smile Factor is gonna get the round. Make maybe. it six four. Maybe they gain a little momentum. They maybe they'll go on a little run. Gotta keep watching to find out. You know the vibes. Yep. That was a nice 3k by Gira to start the round. That was a nice three piece. And now we're gonna see how they play for round 11. So they're kind of hovering towards A. They have IC playing towards B. So I wonder if they're kind of gonna use IC as a bait here. They break the knife immediately so they know that there's but most of them Shock got pinged from that sonar dart. So now there's a little bit of risk here trying to do a play here. Playing a little slower than the past rounds, but it's also not really slow. It's still kind of quick. It's so compared to Wake Tech and Elon. Correct, correct. Spike down. Design is going to get the kill on Astral. Gira now the has spike their down. Ult. They now pretty much have sight of Spike. I have the Spike. But he's able to pick it up. So now it's a 5v4. A lot of util oh. and info are still known by Billy Bangers and Small Factory. Most of Billy Bangers is at. Well, now they're kind of split on B and A site. So we're going to see a push by Small Factory onto site. But Jensen just is going to shut that down. Got the but trade. It's now 4v3 with Spike going down. Planted. Let's see what Small Factory does here. There's currently only two on site with IC Front kind destroyed. of playing towards that flank. However, Chamber is watching there from Tree. So I feel like IC is about to get punished by that. Ah, 2v4. It's now A 2v3. lot of them up on top of Heaven. All of them All are of actually them. up Heaven. Jet uses IC's her ult. I see gets remaining. the kill. It's now a 1v1. Oh. Couldn't get the uh -oh. kill there, but was able to get out of there. It's off the ball from fake defuse. Ooh! What a nice, nice kill by Icy to clutch the round, make it 4-7 for Last Smile Factory. That was tough. That was a tough clutch by Icy, but that was well played. Now we go into the final round of the half. This momentum, there's momentum here now for oh Smile yeah. Factory. After He's seeing that, it. that helps, those clutch rounds help to invigorate the other players. Because it gives oh them yeah. a lot of, it gives them a lot of happiness and excitement to see one of their other teammates clutch the round. They're like, we can do this. So hopefully that momentum there helps to get them rounds. It definitely will. Momentum can carry you far. So now Momentum and confidence. 44, however, Icy gets killed by Koo on site. It's now a 4v3. KO is watching there. Pushes back. Runs through the Molly. But they get the kill. 3v3. 3v3. However, going down. Gear is currently alone right now on site, while the other two are in tree. See how this time works out. The two Ooh. rush is gonna get the kill on Astral. However, the Holy's gonna get the trade, but it's now a two v two, and unfortunately they're old. kind of one stuck. Remaining. But now they're alone. And it's now a one v one. However, Gira's on site. They have control of and Spike. Whoa. Uh oh. Dazan is not able to get the kill there, Ooh. and Gira clutches the round with the classic right click again. To make it 4A for Smile Factory, and that's Switching the end side. of the first half. What a great Boy, them boys going 3K. Crazy. A lot of excitement here. Yeah. A lot of excitement. There's a lot of screams of enjoyment and just...
overall confident. Small Factory is playing extremely well. And that's what it's all about, though. It's all about having fun. They down there having fun, for sure. That's right. So now we go into um, the second half now. This is Pistol Round. This is where Billy Bangers can get the momentum back. Billy Bangers is now on attack while Small Factory is defending now, I believe. So now we're going to see, we're probably going to see some different plays by different teams. By different teams. Different plays from different sides. Yeah. So we see this mid push now. Oh, they got some info. They got some info about where Heyo is. Headshot. Astro's gonna get the kill on Gen C Justice and then oh, Zong is gonna get the trade. So now still a four v four. Still a lot of a lot of info still there. Pushing back. Pushing back towards uh. B. Holy's gonna get the kill on two rush. Make it a three v four. Teleport's ready. Koof is just gonna try and get out of there using the teleports. Although it does take out your cooldown on your teleports, it's a great way just to get across, not worry about taking damage. It's a smart play. Gear's gonna get the kill on Koof. Gonks is gonna get the kill on Dizana. And we're now in 4v1 now. Well, they all know, here they come. And Gonchis is gonna get the kill on Tensei Fly to make it 9-4 for Smile Factory. What a great round. Still got the momentum rolling. They still got the momentum rolling. I like how we were saying before how they were tied up. This was gonna be a yeah. back and forth. But just winning two rounds, the momentum for Smile Factory has led them to such a great gap in their points or victories for rounds. They heard me say that and they took it personally. <laughs> they said, we're like that for real. <laughs> we're like that. It yeah. So now we're going into round 14. So we kind of have this kind of default split. Where Billy's Bangers are going to play pretty close. I don't know any of these dudes. They have me excited. <laughs> like I'm, I'm ready to see some crazy headshots and just see Coop how this game goes. gets the kill on Gaunches to start. Uh, he got the kill all the way from their own spawn from A main. Here. That was a great kill. Both teams playing a little slower than they were at first. They're still playing slow. Sonic is going to take the push there. However, they're going to back up now. Jesse Justice is going to stay the there. Has a shorty. Can rotate to A? Question mark? They could rotate to A. I think that's what they plan to do. They plan to rotate through A. Or they could have mid, since there's no one in mid currently. It's all timing, though. They might rotate the mid as they rotate through mid. It gets crazy real quick. It looks like there's a little fake rotate. Looks like. But they didn't fall close. for it. 30 seconds left. I see. Out of charge. One of them's playing logs. Here it gets Spike the two kills on Jetsy Justice and Tensai Fly. But they didn't even know he was there. A little double piece. Oh, it's now a 2v2. 13 seconds left. Spike's going down. Ten seconds What's left. Gonna not gonna get the shot down and Icy's going to punish it. It's now a 1v2. He made noise. One side. And Astro's going to get the kill on 2 rush to clutch the round for Billy's Bangers and get the defuse. It is 4-10 for Small Factory. And they're only... Two, three rounds away from winning the matchup and going into further in the winner's bracket. This this team is pretty solid on both sides of the spike. They're good at attacking. They're good at defending. That's, that's what's up. I think it comes down to how their agent composition is. Mm -hmm. As you can, if you look at the agent selects here, for Billy's Bangers, they only have one Sentinel. But they have two initiators. Those two initiators can get you a lot of information. So that's sometimes really good on defense because then you know where to place your players at. For Smile Factory, they have two Sentinels. They get a lot of 
control of sites after post plants on attack or on defense, like right now, yeah. they can play out in holding sites down. They can play their util right, and then they can get kills when it's necessary for them. And I think Smile Factory had a smart plan with their agent selects. That's why it took them a little while to get their selects down. But I think it's working out in their favor. So now it's 5v4. They're still hovering over A, however. I think they might know. They might know Chilling. that something's going on. That suppressor knife is going to alert that there's some players there. They're all there. So now we're going to see if whether or not they plan to push this or if they plan to push back. The knife goes out, the guard goes out. Too, though. They smoked off Evan. Now, trying to push. 30 seconds However, Koof gets the kill on Gonchus, and Gen Z Justice gets 3v4. the kill on Astral. It is now a 3v4. Moth Factor with a disadvantage on man. Spike Spike's down. Spike is down now. Uh oh. Koof gets the kill on Icy. It's now 4v2. Finish. Holy's gonna get the kill on Gen Z Justice. It's now a 3v2. Player standing. One. And Tensai Flight clutches the round for Billy's Bangers and makes it 5 10, stopping the win streak that Smile Factory had. Maybe they gain a little momentum here, going around, mount a comeback. That Obviously, is that's true. the plan, but we'll see if it happens for them. Yep. So we go into round 16. This is still this is still a close game. Yeah, it's still very early. Not very early, but good. we're not we're not close to a finish yet. Mm -hmm. Still a lot of game that could be played. Yes, sir. Cover going out. So round started. They're gonna Billy's Bangers are gonna play kind of default. They have Spike kind of sitting in B lobby. However, they have kind of. They just kind of see, get the information, see if any of them play mm -hmm. aggressive, and then punish it. Because that'll help you get the man advantage immediately, and then you don't have to worry about taking those um, difficult gun duels. Tensei Fly is going to get the kill on well, well Astral. Uh-oh. No, got some they information know that there's there. two at least in mid. They know that there's three. Here's going to get the kill on Tensei Fly. Koof's going to get the kill on Gira. It's a 4v3 now. So happens. They're going back towards B. Chambers the only one back there. But Chambers taking a very aggressive position. Yes. Pushing on his backside though. But he's starting to push up now. Flashbang. Flash. Takes the flash. Flashes out there. Uh, they got is gonna get the kill. On the Go trade. Three, three. Three. Boathouse, though, so I wonder if they expect to clear him there while well, we have the other two in market currently. Again, checking. Gon just gets the kill Ooh. on Gen Z Justice. Two rush. Okay. And Koof. Holy gets the kill on Koof, and Small Factory clutches the round, making it 5 11. They said they don't want to give up the momentum yet. They said they want to keep it going. That was well played by Small Factory. Gon just played that amazing. By having to teleport into Boathouse, they were able to not, they didn't exactly clear him, mm -hmm. clear Boathouse, and that's what won them the round. So now, we go into round 17. Placing alarm bot. Placing so we're going to see Killjoy set up on B. Uh, A lot of utilities already on B. We're gonna Get see Omen old, Gira old. So with Omen's old, it teleports you to a part of the map. The thing is, you can use that to kind of act as like a flank. You could use it to get into their spawn and then kill any rotates. Or you can use it to get information. And Gira used it to get information on how many people were there in the garage. And because now that information is known, they're able to push back. 4v4 now. Zana's gonna get the kill on Gonchus, makes it a 4v4. They're gonna hover around Cubby towards Tree. Pushing in a tree, Yuri gets the kill on Zana. 
Who knows? gets the kill on I see. Tony gets the kill on Tensai Fly. It is now a 3v1. You know where he's at. And Astro gets the kill on Koof to make it 12 5, small factory. Match point. Match point. Uh oh. Now, this is, where, okay, this is where it gets. You have to pull out all the stops. Yeah. They got a comeback, a kind of decent comeback to make, but it's not impossible. It's, we've seen it happen before. Yes. Against, with the uh, Elon and Wake Tech. They, I was, forgot which one had to make a comeback. One, they did make a comeback. So. I believe it was Wake Tech. I think so, too. Not 100% sure, though. No. I'm not too sure. I don't remember. Want to play. I don't want to give out false play. information. <laughs> yeah, no false information here. We only tell the truth here. So, now we're kind of seeing this mid push by Big Bangers. We have the KO ult coming out. We also have the chamber ult. Astro's playing very close. But Cool gets the right click on Astro, and they get a free gun from that. Gear's going to get the kill on Tensei Fly. Makes it a 3v4. Can use that. Billy Bangers are down man, though. But they are pushed onto. Uh oh, four v two. That was that was tough. That was a nice kill by Gira. Makes it a four v two. Spikes it down towards B side. So currently two. two rushes alone currently, and so is uh, Ko on Billy Bangers. Still a three v two now. It's flanking. Gira gets the kill. Spike and now it's down, a 3v1. About the pinch. Oh, they're rushing. And Got Icy him. gets GG's. the kill on two rush, Defenders and Small Factory win. wins five. the match 13 to 5 against Billy Bangers. A great victory for Small Factory. They played well on both sides of the map, defending and attacking. What just a great overall match. We have Gary here, 22 and 12. Icy, 20 and 10. Just Great plays by both players. All players on Smile Factory played extremely well. That those Bangers played was well as well. It was just, unfortunately, the better team won there, and that was Smile Factory. Yeah. I was, like, the aim was crazy. Headshots. They was rushing. It was action-packed. That's how we like it. I like the action. Crosshair placement is important in this yeah. game. And if you have that down, you can hit one taps like it's nothing. For so, sure. I'm not too sure what the next matchup will be streamed, but the stream schedule's been a little bit messed up. <laughs> yeah, we had a little technical difficulties. It's been worked out. You know, it's still going. It's the first ever land event here at CVCC so in the Tarleton Complex. Shout out to our sponsors, Red Fox Gaming and Corporate Armor. You can see all the players down here. You can see all the college recruiters, all the players here. They're playing to win that prize pool. What just a great overall game yeah and we'll see you next time boop, boop, boop. deuces
Hello, and welcome back to uh, the Valorant here, <laughs> the winner's finals for Valorant at the Stay Plugged In LAN event here at CVCC on the beautiful Catawba Valley Community College campus. Uh, we are in the Charleston Complex right now. As you can see from intermission, we were a bit um, smaller in numbers than we were this morning, but we're still going strong. Um, I'm Brad again from this morning. I'm Damien, or Re Arctus Rezzo. Um, yeah, this is actually the winner's finals. So uh, This is not the final match yeah. for Valorant. There's yeah. a grand finals that will be done tomorrow, mm -hmm. and so will loser's finals for those brackets. Yep. Uh, but the winner's finals, they have not lost the match yet. Uh, we have Smile Factory and Wait Tech playing today. That's um, first seed and second seed. Yep. We are playing on the map Ascent, and Smile Factory is actually... Defending? Defending, yep. And Wait Tech is attacking. So, uh, yeah, we're just kind of waiting on everybody to get loaded in. Uh, here we have the agent picks here. We have KO for Sif. We have Sova for Arsh. Pichu on Jet and Spooky Checks on Killjoy. Omen's kind of getting covered by P1. And then we also have Icy on Jet. We have uh, Sova getting hovered on Astral. Polly's hovering on Killjoy. Omen's going to be picked for P1. Omen is also being uh, hovered over by Gira. And Reyna's being hovered by the other player, but I can't see their name. <laughs> yeah, it is currently blocked. It is currently blocked. But it's all right. We'll find out in game. Yep. But yeah, so this is a best of one, so whoever wins this one will move on to the grand finals uh, tomorrow. Yep. This is the two best teams, Small Factor being the first seed and Wake Tech being the second seed. I mean, can't be better than that for winners' finals. Yeah, this is we're hoping, kind of expecting for a great match because both these teams have played phenomenally today. Um, so we'll see what happens. We've got about two more minutes to pick, and then we got two more seconds. Sorry. All the picks here. Okay, so we have picks by both teams, and we're about to go into. The finals match for the winner's bracket. So, judging by how both of these teams played in just the winner's bracket overall, mm -hmm. do you already have an idea of which team is going to go to the grand finals? Honestly, I think either team could make it. Um, both had great crosshair placements. Both have great gunplay. They both play really smart. So, um, I think it's just going to be down to like little minute things. Yeah. I think both teams have played phenomenally. I mean, I've seen Smile Factory play really well in the last match. And then Wake Tech also played pretty well as well. So we're going to see how they go. So you can hear a lot of excitement down there. They're realizing that they're on stream. <laughs> so we're going to have Wake Tech kind of towards A side. But we have Killjoy there towards... B lobby, possibly going to be watching for a flank there. No, I do have a uh, split defense. It looks like we got three on A and two on B. So we're kind of see this push through mid. It's kind of a split push into A. We've seen Wake Tech do this so many times in the previous matches. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh, nice shots going out. Got the KO knife getting taken out. And Omen gets has the been kill detected. on IC. Get the first pick of the match. Spike has been planted down on A. So now it's a 4v5. P1's able to upgrade to a Sheriff. They know that at least one's up heaven. Ooh, the shock dart gets P1. And it's now a 4v4. The dart goes, but it doesn't pick up anyone under. Picked up Gira, gets the kill on Arsh. Spooky Tex gets a kill on Astral. Gonches is ten, gets the three K. It's now a one v one. And Arsh gets the clutch with the three K against Gonches to clutch the round and get Wake take the first point of the match. Yep. So we go into round two now. <laughs> yeah. Um. Whenever we saw that. Uh. We saw some great uh, utility plays, like that shark dart kill was, uh, that was a great placement. Great utility use yeah. helps to mm -hmm. 
there's certain lineups you can do in this game that helps Looks you like to clear certain corners. Looks like we might be getting corners. another lineup soon. You might see Arsh do another lineup, which is interesting because from what I remember, I've seen Arsh mostly play on Breach, so to see him on Sova is a, a change of pace yeah. from watching this player before. Sova drone goes out. Aggressive push by Pichu. Ooh, but the yep. Astro's headshot gonna get him. through the wall. P1's going to get the kill on Astral. Gets to get traded by Icy. It's now a 4v2. Wake Tech kind of stuck now. Sneaky check. And Gira gets the kill. And Smile Factory gets a point to make it tied now. I feel like this is going to be a game of back and forth between these two teams. Oh, definitely. Uh, both teams play so well. Uh, so it's just going to be a matter of who can get the first kill, I think, will be probably the the main difference. Yep. I think both of these teams, it's they play really smart. They played very competitively. Both teams just have to outsmart the other and util use and also just overall strategy. So we'll see yeah. how it goes going into round three. We got another split defense, but actually we have a split. A split. Tech push too. Ooh, Astral's going to get the clear on Sova. They're going to see. They're going to try and push it. They get the ping on Arsh. Chuck Arsh going out. Gonch is going to get the two kills on P1 and also the KO. What a f <laughs> oh my good what a great round yeah, by Small Factory. Victory, yeah. A flawless round. They keep their guns and we go into round four with Small Factory up one. So I, what I remember seeing from Small Factory was that they played very aggressive in the match that I had actually commentated for. Mm -hmm. Way Tech, I remember they played very slow. They played very patiently. So I wonder if Wake Tech is able to use that patience to punish those aggressive pushes by Smile Factory. And you can see with the util use there that that was supposed to help slow down a push that was from there. We yeah, already have a Killjoy out. Attacker Killjoy coming out. Kind of push all the Smile Factory players out of sight. Ooh, one player's detained. Spooky Checks gets Astral. And it's now a 3v5 in favor of Wake Tech. And the plant is going down on B. Now they're still, they have a lot of control of sight, so it's going to be tough for Wake Tech to get, for Wake Tech, to, sorry, for Smile Factor to win the round. However, Gaunches and Icy are dwindling down the numbers, making it only a 2v3 now. However, P2 is already weak, or Icy is already weak. P1's gonna get the kill, and P1 with 3k Peace. to clutch the round, makes it 2-2, and we're tied again going into round five. Like I said, back and forth. Yep, back and forth. This is gonna it's gonna be playing out like that. I mean, I can't say for certain which team will win, because both teams have very similar comp positions in their agent picks. However, Small Factor do have two duelists, and I feel like they can utilize that two duelist approach on attack more than yep. defending. Mm -hmm. So, if they can win as many rounds on defense, they could probably do pretty well on attack. Yeah, I completely agree with you on that. So, going into round five, we have the ult orb getting picked up by Spooky Checks, and we have this possible A push with a possible push in mid as well. That's another split defense with KJ and Sova on B. Then Jet, Omen, and Reyna watching over A. Jet's playing really close. An accidental blind of of their own teammate, but still able to get the kill. Looks like we might have a rotate coming in. It's now a 5v4 in Wake Tech's favor. We have a push-up by Omen. Gets the kill on Gira, spiked down, but he's not going to try and fight for that control. Peach is going to get the kill on him from mid. 
And now it's a 3v4. So we're gonna see we're gonna see Silva play in this cubby, and then Pichu with an aggressive push onto site. That was a great dash. Make sure that you're not seen. Uh, or However, they don't know that Silva's on site. Mm -hmm. Ash was gonna get the two kills, making it two v two. There's only a limited amount of time. Spooky checks is planting currently. Gets the plant out, but Arsh oh, is wow. right behind him. To clear the round and get the win for Wake Tech, now up one, <laughs> making it three two going into round six. Mm -hmm. I think that was great placement by Sova to play back and get those kills from a push by Smile Factory. Yeah, exactly. And uh, whatever you watch, some of these other teams played. Because uh, I know I wasn't always streaming this today, unlike you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was watching some of the other matches and. Uh, just coming in and watching the top two teams at this tournament play, you can see that there's um, just little details that they do a little bit differently. And then also crosshair placement is very yes, – well, these, it's usually right on point. These players have impeccable mm -hmm. aim. Ooh, what a great kill by Gira onto Sif. However, it's going to get traded by P1. It's now yeah. 4v4. A lot of util coming out. A lot of ults. Hunter's Fury and a Killjoy out. The lockdown goes down. Spooky Checks kills Icy, makes it a 3v4 in Wek Tech's favor. And they are planting. Uh, they got the plant down. And we got two in heaven, but they don't know that. They do have one flank as well. Ganja's going to get the kill on Spooky Checks, making it a 3v3. They now could possibly pinch now. Ooh, but Arsh gets the nice kill on Ganja's to make it now a 3v2. It's going to be tough to play in their positions considering two are underneath heaven and then one's towards door. Good trades coming out. Holy's going to kill P2. It's now 1v1 against P1 and Holy. But P1's going to get the kill, get another 3k to win the round and put Wake Tech up 2 now to make it 2-4 going into round 7. Mm -hmm. See, this is where the back and forth finishes because now both teams... Understand how each other play on this side of the map. Mm -hmm. They now can figure out, okay, now we know we can play like this, like this, like this, and then we can ride the momentum. So Wake Tech has the opportunity now to ride the momentum, and they can get many rounds with that momentum. Yeah, exactly. But you're going to see here that Smile Factory actually changed their agent positions, having Killjoy now play on A. Ganja's going to play aggressively. Yeah, you would think that they would have... Uh, Guess the kill on Sif. If there's been many A push or A pushes, you would think that they would put uh, their more, more aggressive players on A to kind of keep their util players on B. Correct. I see having the op, however, is smoked off and then doored off, unfortunately. It's still 3v4 now. Yeah, we got an op coming out. P1 gets the kill on Gira. Astral's weak with 21 health. There's a lot of not known info about where all the agents are. Smoke goes down and reveals Icy there to P1. Can't get the kill. That's now a 1v3 situation. Astro's gonna get the kill on Arsh and can't get the kill on Spooky Checks. Wake Tech go up another point, make a 2 5 going into round 8. So. Is it? No, wait, yeah, it is it eight. It is Never eight. Mind. I can't do math. I can't do math either. Even though I'm a math major, I can't do math. But I want to make sure that my counting is correct. <laughs> so we're going into round eight now. And we're going to see a beat push. But you see a lot of their agents are on A. Looks like Sova is the sole protector of B right now. So this could be a problem if... Small Factory doesn't notice this and get their uh, players there. You see a very aggressive push once again by Pichu. However, he's gonna get killed by Conches. Sif is gonna get the kill on Astral. Making it 3v4. Wake Tech with the man advantage again. He's gonna plant Bomb. Check with only 5 health is in that market door. Take 
I see a lot of util use here. Enemy tank. They know that two are CT, and one is market. They know where all agents are now. Pushing out now, one Spooky gets the kill. It's another one. And the trade is there for Arsh, for Spooky Checks. And Wake Tech goes up another one, make it 2 6. Going into round 9. Like I said, the momentum, it it does a lot for this game. Yeah, so it sure does. You can tell that Wake Tech's really riding their confidence and their momentum, but you can't get your confidence up too high and then, you know. Because uh, you got to yeah. realize. Wake Tech is the second seed, mm -hmm. with Smile Factor being the first seed. Both these teams play extremely well. Mm -hmm. Both of them are well deserved in being in these winners bracket finals, and I expect them to do super well. Now we got what looks like a um, majority a push. But it's weird that Arsh is not moving. No, I think there's technical issues. Oh, there is technical issues. As I look around, the entire <laughs> Wake Tech team is standing straight up. Yeah. I'm not sure what happened there. But so far, this game has been played great. I think both teams are doing a phenomenal job with uh Oh, the timeout has been taken. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, the time stopped. So we're sorry for that. We're trying to figure out <laughs> yeah. what's going on. So, But there's a timeout taken by, I believe, Wake Tech, possibly. So... So yeah, the players are going to get a second, just kind of rethink their game plans, their strategies, uh, talk to talk it over with amongst themselves, kind of figure out where they're going next with their pushes, with their plants, with their uh, defuses or defenses. Yep. I think this tournament went pretty well. Mm -hmm. I've enjoyed been, been casting for all of them, and I can't wait for tomorrow to do the loser bracket finals and then also the grand, grand finals, finals as well. It's going to be such a two great matchups, even though loser finals are eh. But you get to see who's who's the best of the losers, and sometimes the underdogs are the ones who win. Yeah, they could have just had a bad game, and they can come back and win the whole thing. So that will be really interesting to watch and see. Because um, for the viewers, uh, the brackets are done in double elimination. Mm -hmm. So if you're eliminated twice, you're eliminated from – contention and you don't play anymore so for the uh loser finals loser bracket finals it's the best of the losers pretty much and like you said some of these teams maybe had a bad game or maybe they even went against one of these top teams and they just couldn't compete but i know uh this morning it was really early in <laughs> the first few matches yeah so i know that could have been a reason uh you don't like making excuses but you know i mean a lot of people were yeah, waking up, yeah. so. If I didn't have an energy drink, I wouldn't have been able to be casting this morning. Yeah. So, but it looks like we might be getting back into it in just a minute. So we do have movement. Yeah, we do have movement now. By some of the players. The timer might start back up, and we'll start getting into the match. But yeah, it does look like a majority. Um, actually, we can't really match that up. But We're just trying to figure out information as we go. Yeah. Yeah, both teams, uh, especially with. Okay. Um, actually, we're going to go ahead and take an intermission really quickly. Um, from this match while we're trying to figure out everything. So we'll be right back momentarily.
Okay, and we're back. Sorry about that delay. We are back. We had an issue with one of the computer's PC boxes going out. Had to get it replaced. Now we got a new one, and we're good to go. And it looks like Weight Tech is doing a majority A push again. Um, it has worked out well for them in the past, so exciting to see. Good, good kill by Chex. And the Killjoy gets take or gets put out. Placing swarm grenade. Have these molly Placing placements, molly lineups. Swarm grenade out. You have one player detained. However, they don't know where they were. It's Boosty. Chex is also planting. Hey. Shadows traveling. Four v five. Like Tex's favorite. Very aggressive position at this time. Which is sides. Defender Killjoy goes out. Play for retake now. Blinded. Now they can either evacuate their premises or destroy the Killjoy. Which they destroyed it. Now we have 3v2. One gets the kill. Gets oh. a 3k. And gets the 4k. Four. Wow. To win the round for Wake Tech. And now we go into round 10. We have a lot of excitement down there for this uh, winter bracket finals. And currently, the second seed, the underdog, are currently winning. They yeah. still have a lot of momentum. Even after the intermission, they didn't, it didn't slow down their confidence, it didn't slow down the way they play. They kept on going, and they're they're planning to win it all. Exactly. Now P1 with an omen, Cover, like considering out. his gun placement is very spot on. Everything. Uh, he just got that four piece. Um, He's playing it extremely well. Omen smoke to block out push. B once again. He's Spike just sitting back in B lobby. That's helped to Cover going prevent out. any sort of loss of spike control, which is very important in this game. As it is the objective, if you don't have the spike, you pretty much lost the game. Got pushed by Sif. Sif is going to get the kill on Yira. Pop flash up. Pushes back to Sova. It's a 5v2 right now. Wake Tech with the major man mm. advantage. Spike has not been planted yet, but it looks like they're moving way towards B. Probably gain a lot of information about where Killjoy was, where Sova was. One enemy remaining. Flawless. And, and a, a good flawless. round. Flawless round by Wake Tech. Make it 8 2, go into round 11. So currently, Wake Tech is just riding the momentum. They're playing well, they're playing concise. Great gameplay, no mistakes, they're playing to win. So again, you can see a lot of this agent position for Smile Factory is shifting now. You have Jet and Reyna playing on B while you have Omen in mid while Killjoy is on A solely alone. However, we're about to get a possible A push by Wake Tech. Oh, Playing very aggressive. Doesn't have the gun now. Gets killed by Gira in mid. Icy gonna get the kill on Spooky checks. This is a good, good chance for Smile Factory to win the round. Gonna try to take a little bit of that momentum away from. Astral's gonna get the kill on P1. They break the door. Thing, Astral gets the sip. And Icy gets Arsh to get a flawless round of their own. Make it 3 8, going into Last the round final round the of the half, round 12. Oh, timeout. Coming Arsh back is up. about to do a timeout of their own. So we got some strategizing, some. Just overall thinking, okay, what do we want to do next? Mm -hmm. Death. At least I hope that's what it is, and it's not. Not another technical another, issue. Yeah. Not another technical issue. We don't want those. We want, we want W's for our teams. Exactly. 
Um, well, this is the last round of the half, so that means that they need to spend as much credits as they can, considering they will all be gone by next round. Yep. So, uh, it's time to buy up, there. get all your utility, yeah. get all of your guns that you're wanting, get all of your shields. Make yep. sure that you are as fully equipped as possible, because you will not have it next round. The other thing as well is that you want to use your ultimate, ultimate. abilities okay. as well, because after the half, if you don't get to keep those, they're not banked. you got to use them. Yep. And you can see a lot of util, or a lot of ultimates that both teams have. Wake Tech has a Killjoy ult, a Jet ult, a Sova ult, an Omen ult. And then you have Smile Factory with a Reyna ult, a Sova ult, and a Jet ult. So a lot of util are ultimates that can be used by both teams. And let's see if they utilize it. Swamp grenade. It looks like a B push, which is a bit different than what they've been working on. So as you can see that we have three uh, defenders on A, considering we're thinking that they're going to do another A push. Yeah, the dart going out to see if they can get any info. Right However, they're playing too far back to where the dart doesn't catch anything. This could lead to them possibly rotating right here. towards A. You should run. Ultimate goes run. out to destroy the attacker killjoy. Uh, the other, the other hunter here comes out. Too. All the oh. ultimates come out. You now have a four on four. They're gonna see Jet use their ult. Ashley's gonna get the kill through the smoke on spooky checks. Make it a 4v3. Icy pushing out. in super aggressively. Gets the kill on P1, but can't get the kill on Arsh. Gonchis is trying to get a kill. Gets the kill on Sif. It's now 3v1. And they do know where the Sif is. And Gonchis gets the final kill to end the round. Giving us a 4 8 half in Switching favor of Wake sides. Tech. Mm -hmm. And now we switch sides. Yep. And go to pistols again. Yeah, these pistol rounds are always just about really just gunplay. Gunplay and holding angles. Make sure that you can get the first shot off and that's precise. Yep. You want It helps you also to learn about how the other team plays their defense. Because <laughs> on attack, it is vital to know how your uh, opponent's team defends because then you can take advantage of it. Exactly. So let's see how Small Factory uh, plays his pistol round against Wake Tech on defense. Destroy them again. It looks like we do have a split defense. And maybe an Omen Lurker going into B. Yes, sir. But then we also have a split push for attack. And an aggressive push on on from B Garage. But then you also have a split push onto A, possibly. I guess I'm going through trees. Oh, I'm going through. Oh, oh, this small factor's omen going to be able to. That's a lot of them pushing towards tiles. Here's going to get the kill on P2 and Arsh, making it a 5v3. P1's alone on both house. Gets the kill on Icy, Spike making it a beat. 4v3. He does have the util necessary to hold off sight until uh, oh, come. Spike comes. Gets the Good kill shot. on Gira. One enemy Gets remaining. the kill on Astral, and it's now a 1v2. Yeah. Gonchas is the soul. Player left, and they have spike control. Thirty seconds this left. This is gonna be tough for Gonchas to pull off. However, they do. They can do it. Picked up spike. And another kill. P1 gets the kill. Make another four piece. Another four piece with a cookie. Got side of fries and a side cookie. fries and a cookie, which I really want because I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> we go into round 14. Wake Tech going up one now, making a nine four. This could be another back and forth like we saw in the beginning. We could see it go one way or go the other. It just depends on how Smile Factor responds to Wake Tech's defense. Because this this match is not over until there's a 13 at the top of one of these teams score boards. Exactly. And we got a lot of sheriffs coming out too. Yeah, these are these are um, 
guns that you play or choose when you're very aggressive or very confident <laughs> as you that they can utilize their utility properly to get those kills. Yours gonna get the kill on Arsh. P1's gonna get the kill on Gira. Get the trade. Pichu gets the kill on Icy. Pichu gets the kill on Astral. And Spooky Chance gets the kill on Gaunches. Make it 4-10. Wake Tech now having the momentum. Can totally win this out and win the winner's finals and go into the grand finals tomorrow and win the wonderful prize. <laughs> well, it's a great prize. It is a great but prize. It is a, s a scholarship. Uh, no, it's just it's a thousand dollars. Oh, it's a thousand dollars, but it's split between yep. all it's players. Almost almost Placing swarm grenade. So it's a great prize. Uh, it's definitely worth playing for. Also worth playing for its experience and. The ability to talk to the other colleges and other players, kind of get run, the college recruiters, yep, run your uh, your circle a bit, get connections. Mm -hmm. You can make great connections here. Exactly. It's gonna be a big mid push by Smile Factory. P one's gonna get the kill on Icy. Gonch is gonna trade for P one. Still pushing up mid aggressively, going into market. Here. However, there's two on B. They're playing in Bow House, so let's see if they're able to hold off sight. A lot of utility slow down pushes. A lot of gun, uh, bullet connections. I'm just gonna get the kill on Sif. Astro's gonna get the kill on Arch. Chick's gonna kill on Gira and Holy and Gaunches. Get the two kills. And Gonchus did get a three kill. A three round. piece. Triple kill. Three piece with the sad frash. In the words of Coach, who is not here currently. Coach Dalton. So now we go into round 16. Looks with like they're going uh, with an A push, which was uh, Wake Tech's bread and butter there for a bit. Yep. So let's see if Let us hunt. Small Factor can create the same magic. I'm gonna see this aggressive position by Sif here. He's gonna push back after he knows the players that are there. Yep. And uh, Ko was the sole defender of A throughout his uh, knife, which did suppress them from the for a few seconds. Good push by Icy. Doesn't get the kill on Sif, however, but there's a lot of them on site now. Sif gets the kill on Gira. Astro kills Sif. Gonch kills. Checks. It's now 3v3. All oh, Astro gets a kill on P2. It's now 3v2. Small Factor is able to hold off sight slightly. Got the shot darts coming out. Astro. Spike hasn't been planted yet. It's now being planted. Spike gets planted. And now it's just a matter of holding off sight. The, sh the dart goes down towards uh, underneath enemy heaven. Remaining. And now it's a 1v3. Know where he is. And Gaunt is going to get the 3 piece with the side of fries. Make it 6 10. So Keep now Small Factory is getting, getting their own momentum going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think with the extra duelist for Small Factory, it's really coming in handy for them uh, in this matchup. It's able to help with double entry. Mm -hmm. You're able to get so much space and control of sight using those duelists and then you can use the other agents to work with post plant mm -hmm. exactly and Gonchas is actually playing uh reina really well uh with her duelist status yep using her blinding really well using the healer factor that was an aggressive wow. push by icy to get two kills from that still pushing wants more gets three, three piece wow. still going is there gonna be a fourth Pushes out. Here's gonna get the kill on P1, and now it's a 5v1. That was so fast. That was almost the fastest round right there. One of the fastest rounds here today. What a great execution by IC to push that deep. It, they did not expect that. They weren't able to counter it, and they got a good bit of kills from it. So now we go into round 18. And with the possible, we have a split here. With some going towards 
like B Before lobby, and then money. some going A. And we do also still have split defense, so it looks like we have two on A, and then we have uh, three on B. So hopefully the split defense and offense will be able to take mm -hmm. take hold. Very patient round as opposed to the last one where they finished in like 20 seconds. As he sees Omen there, tries to push over the smoke, kind of slows them down. Tries to shoot through the smoke, see if they can get someone. Doesn't connect with anyone there, unfortunately. You can see the pings go out to signify if where they have last seen a player that helps them to remember information. Cover going out. You have smokes going out towards A. You then have knife go out. Kills by Arch. Ice is gonna get the kill on Arch. Mixing it a 4v4 with Spike Planet on A. T1 is gonna get the kill on Astral. Here's gonna get the kill on Spooky Checks. KO ult comes out. Now with KO's ult, it's interesting because you get the same suppression effect as the knife. However, he is able to be revived by another player if they're able to get to him. However, it is very difficult in certain situations. But that suppression effect lasts until he is completely brought down. But Gaunch's clutches the round, makes it 8-10. And we go into round 19 now. Yeah. Now, Icy and Gaunch seem like the more aggressive players on this team. Um, you see that they're either getting first bloods or they're getting final kills or three pieces. Um, they are both playing phenomenally well. And it's funny to see how whenever one's really aggressive, the other kind of plays back. Um, so is, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure if they plan that or if they're talking about it right now because we're talking about it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I just yeah. thought that was a little bit interesting. Yeah, both players, they play off of each other. Mm -hmm. Both aren't playing too aggressive because if both of them die, then that's... Yeah, that's no all their aggression, yeah. So... It's smart for them to have one play aggressor, the other one play back, play for the kills and control. And we have Pichu's ult coming out. Jet has uh, plenty of knives that she can send. Wow. But the right click misses. This is why the right click was is not good. I didn't know that Spike Jet's ult down, was mid. right clicks. It's, it's like a shotgun effect. Yeah. So the thing is, is that before it was really broken, where it had a really good accuracy with it. However, now it's not as good anymore. Yeah. So not a lot of people do it unless if it's like really close, but even then you can be unlucky. Yeah. Which unfortunately happened to uh, Wake Tech's jet there. Ice is gonna get the kill on Spooky Tech's and it's 9-10 now. Small Factory is taking this momentum and has run with it, almost making it a tied ball game today. As I, as, like I said before, Remember that they do have the two duelists, so mm -hmm. I did call that they would have a, a better time on attack. Than better time on attack. Thank you. The thing Need is, however, is that Wake Tech is Thank you. has a lot of utility that can you. be used for retakes. So with Smile Factory's duelists, they can get those kills and they don't have to worry about the possibility of that. Mm -hmm. So Smile Factory playing really well on attack now. Go 9-10, and we'll see how they play this round, round 20. Oh, I see this. Yep. Easy kill on Arsh. Gets the kill on P1, but now Pichu has an operator. Here is all alone now. Gets the smoke planted. Uses their ult to teleport to A to get bomb there and plant it. Well, all three of them are going to be up heaven. They know at least where Pichu is. No, because so does Dark Geek. They also Seven. know that Pichu does have an operator, so they don't have to take such a far angle. But Gaunch yep. is just going to take it so aggressively, and I think Pichu is going to be saving the operator. Which is the smart call in this situation, because it is the most uh, It is the most, most expensive, expensive gun, gun in the and, game. And uh, for Jet players, usually, that's kind of their... It's their bread and butter. It's point, their yeah. bread and butter. 
if they you don't have a jet without having an operator. Yeah, and you don't want to give it to the other team either. You don't want to die and then drop it. Yeah, you don't want to pick it up. So you can see the other team is actively trying to find a PG and grab it. However, it's getting close now. Oh, they know. Oh, yeah, oh, it was close. It was close, but now we're at a time tied game now. Tied game. 10-10 going into round 21. Yep. And we'll see if Small Factory is able to keep their momentum and win this game. Go ahead and put it to bed and uh, make their way into the grand finals. Duh. As the first seed, mm -hmm. Wake Tech, as we were saying before, are the second seed. And I thought they that they had a pretty good lead. But they it's easy to lose it fast with the momentum. Exactly. So we have Sova Dark going out got a mass A push coming in. Sadly, we do it's not have light. all the defenders on A, but this might be you should run. maybe an easy claim to hold A. We have the Tiger Killjoy coming out to help with push into sight. They know where KO is now. He's just gonna get the kill through the smoke onto Gaunches. Cover going out. Their players are detained while they push onto sight. One's in that little pocket there. And Icy's gonna get the kill on Sif, making it another 4v4 with Spike planted. So P1's gonna get the kill, and Astral Gira is gonna kill P1. Aggressive play here by Icy, trying to find. Ooh, the right Ice click once again misses again. The right click. Gira's gonna get the kill. Peach is gonna get the kill on Gira. He's now 2v1. And Holy gets the kill on Pichu and Small Factory. Goes, takes the lead now at 11 10. Going into round 22. Yep. As you can hear behind us, probably, uh, they are getting very hyped right now. This is a very competitive, intense match, yeah. intense match by both teams. And both are playing phenomenally well. Mm -hmm. Yep, they are really giving their all and putting it all out there. This is. <laughs> This is top tier Valorant. Yep, this is this is Valorant that you'd see in BCP. Yeah. Well, maybe not at that level, but for this close tournament, to it, yeah. it's pretty darn close. Mm -hmm. We go into round 21. We have an aggressive B push again. Yeah, the game sense of both these teams is just great. Peach is going to be getting that quick kill on Gaunches. Both players played very aggressively, however. Have to try and get the kills that are necessary. Here's gonna be doing the thing. It's a 3v4 now. It's a kill on him. Fears come back out from Astral. Hits gets the kill on Sif. Knows where most of them are, so he did get the kill on Pichu gets the kill on Icy. It's now a 3v2. Defender Killjoy ult goes out. One's gonna be towards Garage. Wiki Chaxa gets a kill on Astral. Here was just a chain. Here. Wait a minute. Here chooses to use their own. Wait. Last player standing. That is. Whoa. Wait, he can do it. Whoa, Here it's a clutch. Clutches whoa. the round to make it 12 10. What a wow. smart play to use the Next ultimate point. to get out of the danger and then play for the spike towards lane. That was. That was VCT level. That was big brain moves. That was pretty big brain. It was smart. It won them the round, and now we go to match point. Match point with Small Factory can favor. win the round here. And win the match. They are getting hyped behind us. That was a great, great play by Small Factory's Omen. It was very well played. See... Possible A push by Smile Factory again. Kind of playing a little bit slow, not as fast paced. Yeah, they want to make sure they go ahead and close this match down. They don't want to make any mistakes. They don't want to play too aggressive. Ours is going to get the kill on Gaunches, making it already Shadows a an advantage issue for Smile Factory. They're going to be pushing towards mid, possibly, towards Here. tree. However, that Killjoy. Util is entirely in tree. So, 
Bill pushes on the site, gets the kill on Sif. But they don't know Omens or Omens in mid. Arsh is gonna get the kill on Icy. It's now a 2v3, small factory. Down a man. Still haven't played a spike. Can't close door because door is broken. Astral is currently playing. Last player standing. One in heaven. And Pichu gets the kill on Astral. Left. Now the plant's not down, so Gear is either going to have to clutch up and get these three kills or plant the spike. Doesn't have a lot of bullets and time. Ten seconds left. And Arsh gets the kill, makes it 3k, makes it 12-11, and Smile Factory still at match point. Mm -hmm. But Wake Tech, if they win this round, we go into overtime. Exactly. In which the way overtime works is that uh, a team needs to win both attacker side and defender side to win the match. Mm -hmm. Now, it doesn't necessarily, it can be just one overtime, but it can go into multiple overtimes. So, but what a great match for yeah, this is a great, final yeah. match for today. So we're going to see a split push, some going mid, some going B garage. Pichu's going to see them in garage. Going to make the call and then gonna see how they play it out. Pushing towards market. She's all alone. Good kill on Astral. But Pichu able to. Oh! Almost got away, but Icy with the classic gets the kill. Gear is currently playing on B. This is not good for Wake Tech. Wake Tech does have a KO ult. Ahead. I wonder if they plan to use it. Wake Tech does use the util or the ultimate. Sith gets the kill on Icy. Remaining. It's now a 1v2. Wake Tech having the man advantage. Knows where they are. And Wake Tech clutches the round. Wow. And sends us to overtime. We go into overtime. Dang. It is 12 12. We go into overtime now. Last player standing. It's just now Switching whoever sides. can win. We're in the end game now. We're in the end game now. Both teams fighting ridiculously hard to win this match, to go to the grand finals and win the prize pool of money. Money's always great. Money is always great. That's why they're playing so hard for it. Yes. So now we have. Well, money and bragging rights. Bragging rights. Is bragging rights is the other thing. It's too. almost right up there, too. <laughs> Wake Tech is going to be on attack now with Smile Factory defending. So we're going to see Wake Tech back on attack. Now we know how they played well on attack. But let's see if Smile Factory is able to shut them down first before they even get the chance. Exactly. Shadows now with shadows. overtime as well, I, all their ultimate points, it's lowered down to where they need at least three. Okay. So they can get an orb or two kills, or they can get an orb, plant, and get a kill. There's so many ways they can get the orb points. But for this, you also get Gira gets two kills on P2 and R. kills, yeah. Just shut that down immediately. And now it's a man advantage issue for Wake Tech. They don't know whether to push into A or to rotate. However, they have Gaunches there watching the spawn for them. Exactly, and they'll have a minute left to plant. So they got to figure out what they're doing and figure it out quick. This game is all about decisions, and if you don't make a decision fast enough, Last player standing. Gonchus gets the kill, and Smile Factory plays it out differently than how they did originally on defense mm -hmm. and Switching get sides. the round, make it 13-12, and match point for Smile Factory. Exactly. Now, if they can clutch up and get this, get this win on attack, then it's over. They've won the winner's bracket, and they will be moving on into the grand the finals. Grand finals. Tomorrow we will be casting the losers finals bracket and then also the grand finals, which will be a best of three. Exactly. So it's going to be a long one, so strap it. <laughs> and I mean, with the way Small Factory is playing, it can go either way.
Looks like we're gonna see a hard A push. Coming. Luckily, uh, Wait Tech does have three of their operators on. They're on A. Sorry, not on B. They have two of them on B. Two of them are on B towards mid. Three of them are on A. A lot of util coming out to slow down the push. And Sif gets the kill and Icy trying to push in. Gira's Arch gets the kill and Gira, it's now 2v5. A tough battle. Gonjus gets the kill. They know where another one is. He also gets the kill. Pushes back and makes it 2v3. Ichu gets the kill on Gonchas. It's now a 1v3. Can wholly clutch it up to win the match for Smile Factory. Now, Omen did just teleport using their. It's their ultimate, right? That has them teleport like that. They have an ultimate ability that lets him teleport to anywhere on the map. Okay. And then he has a regular ability that lets him just teleport a certain distance. Okay. It has to be a seeable left. distance. Though. Yeah. But he's on top of the the kind of um, the boxes. Like the boxes, yes. Right as you, uh, right on the right hand side as you go through arches, which is a great place to, to take that good yeah. position. Exactly. Now we're and back to overtime. Yeah. Two. If you Switching didn't like the first sides. one, you get a second one. Overtime. Yeah. Overtime two. Electric boogaloo. So once again, same rules still apply. It just keeps on going until someone wins both attack and defense. So, Wake Tech and Small Factor are both tied at 13-13. This game can go on for as long as we want to. Yeah, or as long as they keep playing. As long as they keep playing. There's been, we've had a long day of Valorant gameplay. A lot of matches happening today. These teams playing the longest as they were in the winner's bracket. So. Got seven drones going out. None of their players are playing on site. I think what Small Factory is gonna do, they're gonna try and play for a retake. Holy gets the kill on Sif, making it a 5v4. And we already have Omen already weak. But Arsh gets the kill on Gira, making it a 4v4 now. Arsh gets the kill on Gonches, making it a 3v4. Small Factory down, mi down man. Arsh gets the kill on Icy, Holy gets the and Spooky Checks clutches the round for Wake Tech. And it is 13-14. Switching sides. We go to match point for Wake Tech now. Yeah, even though we are one fourth uh, at capacity right now, this is crazy how loud they are. Yeah. Uh, they are getting hyped for these teams right now. We have peanut galleries watching both sides, trying to just figure out who's gonna win this match. Who's gonna go to the grand finals? Recalling my boss. So we now have Smile Factory versus Smile Factory is attacking. Smile Factory. They're doing attacking. a shadows traveling. They're kind of doing a split. But they do have an immediate push. And Ice is gonna get the kill on Spooky Checks. <laughs> making it 5-4. Pichu with that operator. They're already going to be pushing on a site. They know that Sova's there. Ice is going to get the kill on Arsh. And it's now a 5v3. Cover going out. Holy is currently planting. Spike planted. And Spike is planted now on B site. Kind of have... Sova straggling through mid. He could possibly cut him off. A lot of util, a lot of gun spam. Astro gets the kill. P1 gets the kill, and then IC ah. clutches her around, gets the three piece, and we go into overtime again. again. Switching sides. We're now in overtime. the third overtime now. Once again, they have to win two on both sides. Exactly. Interesting how the first overtime, they won on opposite, and then in overtime two, they went to the other. On my, on my way, on my way. So now we're going into, I don't even know what round it is. There's so many rounds in. Yeah. Pichu gets the kill on Astral to start it off. They're gonna do an aggressive 
Sight take. The door is getting shut. The door is already broken. And is now a 4v4. With Gary getting a kill on Sith. A 4v4 here. Gary gets the kill on P2. Making it a 4v3. Wake Tech now down a man. Gonch is gonna get the kill on P1. Ice is gonna get the kill on Arshin. Gonch is gonna get the kill on Spooky Tex to clutch the round and make it 15 14 for Smile Factory. Exactly. So, uh, Smile Factory's up 15 14 on Wake Tech. I do currently have to leave. I'm so sorry uh, to our viewers. Switching sides. Um, but it's been an honor casting, and I will leave it to my co host. <laughs> I can take it down, I can do it. Even I'll see have to you stay all here tomorrow. For another 30 minutes. Exactly. <laughs> I'll see you all tomorrow. Bradley or Parzival will be back tomorrow for casting as well for Valorant with the loser finals bracket and also the grand finals. So we're going into the next round of overtime, third overtime, 15-14 for Smile Factory. Again, we kind of have this default by Smile Factory, just getting as much info as they possibly can without risking player deaths. Like Parzival said before, there's a peanut gallery of watchers here watching this game go on to not just one overtime, but we're currently at three. If Wake Tech can win this round, we go into a fourth overtime. Gonchis gets the kill on Pichu to get us started. Already Wake Tech down man advantage. I have Sif playing under here. Flash. The Sif is gonna get the kill on Astral, but Icy's or Icy's gonna get the kill on Sif, but Sif is gonna get the kill on Astral. Plant is going down for Smile Factory. Gonchus gets the kill. Peeks onto P1. And they know that the last two are up heaven. Spooky Tex gets the kill on Icy. And it is now a 1v3 Smile Factory with the chance to win. And Gira gets the clutch for the round and we win. Or Smile Factory wins 16-14 against Wake Tech. The first seed heads to the grand finals for the chance of the prize pool. Congratulations to Smile Factory. Congratulations to Wake Tech as well for getting to the winner's bracket finals. What great playing by both teams. To go into overtime three times is pretty crazy. Well played. So this is going to be the final stream for today. Tomorrow we'll be going into the losers finals bracket as I've already stated and we'll also be doing the champions or the grand champions finals as well which will be a best of three. There will also be some Rocket League and also Smash as well here for those. So that is going to be it for me and I want to thank uh, for my co-hosts that were here helping me with Valorant. Also, thank you to Spin for helping to organize this tournament. And thank you as well to um, sponsors such as Corporate Armor and also Red Fox Gaming. And that is going to be it. Thank you so much for ha having me and we'll see you tomorrow, guys.